Hello and welcome to my stream. Tonight we play more of Cosmic Star Heroine. And last time we were exploring the swamp area and we were going after Psyb because Psyb is this one Cymorex that was able to steal the Lumina device, which is like the most important item in this game so far because it has the capability of brainwashing people's minds so as it is that powerful and dangerous we gotta recover it because we had it although we went after Enzo the connoisseur so we could negotiate something with him because Enzo knew how to stop this device uh, from working but in the end he trapped us, got the device from us and uh, we discovered that he was working together with the agency, or he kind of chose to be an, ally, be an ally to the agency instead of allying the terrorists or us, like the Astria. And when they were like trying to escape or leave their mansion, trying to leave New Romu, the place where they lived, this Psyb showed up, fooled everybody, escaped from security systems got the Lumina device and vanished. So he kinda saved the world for now, but we also want to go after him to know exactly what is he planning to do. I hope it's something good. And I have this, like, personal belief that maybe he's a party member in potential. I would love to see a Cymorex as a party member. And the last time we were checking the swamp, because it seems that the area where the Cymorex are being concentrated in New Romo is in the swamp and then after exploring the swamp we also fought a boss in like in a small forest uh, past the Cymorex cities and tonight the plan is for us to explore the Cymorex cities because I kind of skipped that area because I felt it would take so long and then it was already late also plot would develop so why not do some side quests in exploration you know uh, and then today that we'll have more time we go to the cities hopefully we find upside and we also see what is what is this up to so that's the plan for tonight i also was like thinking by myself in here before i started the stream that this will sound strange, I guess, but I don't know why, but I feel like I want to take some risks on this stream tonight. Uh, and I'm talking, or I'm saying that, while thinking about my current party. I do love my current party a lot, it's my favorite, it's pretty much the, the, the girls, right? The girl party. And they are very good regarding multi-targeting attacks and healing so that's actually how they're helping me to progress but maybe i will regret my decision but something inside me is telling me to like let's also bring back some of the party members that we haven't used in a while like the boys basically because what if i can get surprised by them too right like what if uh, some of them now have good uh, strategies or attacks that I'm not paying attention to. I still think that the best would be to continue with the girl party, but I don't know, I kind of feel like let's check them out, right? Let's, let's see what they can do now. I know we were also playing with Clark and also Sue when we were exploring the casino. So pretty much the two party members that were most left behind were Dave and Fan, right? Dave, I gotta say that he actually had one battle last time, I remember that we were testing and changing his abilities for some time and then uh, he was in my party and then I started a, 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 a battle but Fan, it's been forever since he was part of my party so today I think I will bring Fan, Dave and then I will have Sue as an option, right? Or Clark. Between Sue and Clark. I will see who has more support abilities or healing. Sue for sure doesn't have that. Although I think his... Um, his programs could be useful for like supporting my party. I'll check them out. Maybe I will only do this like tonight. In the next stream I can go back to the girls or like change my party again. It's just that... I don't know, I felt like let's make things a little bit different, why not? 
So my save file is the first one. We are still in chapter 7, Relics and Rackets. I still don't got that Rackets, but sure. Oh, by the way, this is the first Cosmic Star Hero in stream on this new computer. So, the only reference I have for this stream is my testing offline. So hopefully the audio is good. Uh, when somebody stops by, I will ask them if the audio is alright. Uh, so far, in general, I have been getting the audios correctly, like some comfortable volumes uh, when I'm doing the testings offline, but just to be sure, when somebody stops by, I will ask them about the, the volumes, right? And another thing that I'm realizing is that in this computer, I can have a larger window for the game, so I'm like, you know, it's too large now, I was playing those previous 15 parts of this game with a smaller screen now the screen is huge so I can see things with way more detail so I probably also need some time to get used to this big screen and I do love this song it's a very good relaxing song for this moment like the end of the weekend I had a busy weekend I had a busier week actually also because I have been streaming more thankfully I could stream uh, at least the games I was really planning to stream. I had in time, and it did agent and roller coaster. Next week, I hope I can also bring uh, Yu Gi Oh!, maybe WarioWare, maybe Mario Party, and hopefully we can beat Elite Bit Agents, but then I'm not sure if I will be able to do it because it's so hard. Also, hi Emily! You were already uh, redeeming uh, hydration, let's go. I, I kind of sipped a little bit in here, but I should drink more because I just ate my dinner and then I was like kind of rushing. I ate two burgers from Burger King. One of them was for free actually, because I got some points from like buying there uh, regularly. And then I had enough points to get a free burger, so that was great. But then, right, I should be drinking more water because it's such a savory burger, so let's go for it. Also because while I was in the anime event, and we can talk about the anime event because I do have things to show to Emily and the others. Although I wonder if Emily will get the references, but I think she'll love it anyway because it is a freaking pretty good or pretty beautiful art. So I will show her that. Let me hydrate. But yeah, in the anime event, I did not buy anything regarding food or drinks. I felt it was too expensive and it, it would be a shitty food. So as also um, next to the place where the event was held, there was like a Burger King. I was like, okay, after this event I had there, I buy some burgers and then I, that's my dinner. Although this week, as I also had an event to go yesterday and I kind of ate uh, pizza for the whole day yesterday tomorrow I must have like a very nutritious and delicious and like he uh, healthy dish for lunch right so I, I will totally probably will order that because if I order this one food uh, I think I'll be able to eat better than like if I cook it myself, right? Especially towards the beans. I kind of should get some black beans. And definitely, like, people's black beans taste better than my black beans. So, tomorrow I'll probably be ordering uh, food. Because I do need to, like, rebalance my food habit, right? With, like, more nutritious things. But thankfully, even though I have been eating bad... Uh, this weekend, I'm not feeling very different regarding my body or my health, right? I, like, sometimes you can feel weaker or more sleepy. I'm actually feeling full of energy. Of course, right now, as it's like Sunday's night after a lot of things I have done, and also this music is playing in this game, I'm more like, chill and, you know, let's take it easy. But I'm still with some good energy to spend, right? Emily, how was your weekend, though? 
Uh, my weekend was very eventful, but I'm very satisfied. I'm glad that I could manage everything I had planned to do. Let me actually show you, Emily, what I was talking about before I jump into the, the game, like, for real. Um, I got three pieces of art from this anime event. I went there not really planning to buy anything regarding souvenirs, but I met this artist in there and he really surprised me on his talent. And anyway, let me just change the camera so I can start showing the things. Although, Emily, I'm not sure if you get the references. Probably the other uh, people that will come later, they might get the references, but I will show them anyway because I think you'll like them because they are very well done. So I got three things. First of all, I got this drawing of Jotaro. Hi, Subaru. What's up, man? Do you know Jotaro, Subaru? He's one of the most uh, popular characters in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. That's the anime that he's from. Yes, I got this amazing art uh, for uh, Jotaro. I don't know what's written down here, but I'm guessing it's his name, maybe? I have no idea. And then also from Jojo, the same anime, I got this cute little dog. I really forgot his name, so I'm very sorry for that. But I have watched the season of Jojo that he's a character and he, he belongs to, right? But look at him, Emily. He's super cute, right? I also bought him because he reminds me of Morgana, the cat from Persona 5. And Persona 5 is one of my favorite games, as Persona is one of my favorite series. So, as he looks a lot like Morgana, the cat, but he's a dog, I felt like someday I might get something Morgana related, so why not have them both together? Although, I feel bad because I did forget his name. But he's a very good character in the, in the show as well. So, those two arts were from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. The last art is what blew my mind. I was like, this is not real. Like, I'm dreaming. Someone wake me up, please. Because this can't be here. I'm talking about... Uh, also, I don't think you guys will get the references, but let's see how it goes. I'm talking about this. By the way, let me turn this off because maybe it's better to see it without... Oh, never mind. There is a lot of reflection thanks to the portrait, right? Mm, I'm not sure what... Maybe like this. There we go. That, that, that doesn't have the reflection. That guy right there is Mello. Mello belongs to my favorite game ever, Super Mario RPG. And I was like browsing through the drawings of the artist and then suddenly... Wait, what is this doing in here? Who still talks about Super Mario RPG today, you know? So, I was mind blown. I was like, this is in here for a reason, this is in here for me. Uh, this drawing was made to meet me someday, and its job is complete now. And then I even got the portrait. And you know what was even the best? Even though I gotta confess this, I will confess this right now. Uh, also, now that I showed you the things, let me just use some alcohol because I had not or I didn't have a way to like uh, spread alcohol on such drawings, right? Otherwise I would ruin the, the art. But because of COVID and the pandemic and everything, I have been still careful with myself and my health. So alcohol time, I don't want to get contaminated or like sick. Because every freaking single person, or like every everyone, basically, is getting sick. So, I don't want to be part of these statistics. So, alcohol time for me. And then after some days that the virus will probably die by itself, I will, like, um, touch those arts and then place them around or think exactly what am I doing with them, right? Okay, so uh, let me turn this on again. But yes, the best thing about that, even though I do feel a little bit shit 
or like shit is that it was super cheap uh it was like deadly cheap especially because i did get some good negotiation skills uh and it's funny because sometimes or maybe i should say that i have been noticing that lately i have been negotiating automatically like it's it's becoming natural to me or I, I do it without thinking, you know, and that's good because it's positive and healthy for my finances. So I was negotiating with the guy, but I feel bad because his prices were already very cheap. So I would still buy it anyway, especially the mellow right there. But everything in there, the, those three things with the frame or the portrait, it was 20 reais. It's like almost like nothing 20 reais in dollars would be like four dollars i guess four dollars for one of my favorite characters ever uh only better than that would be a Gino piece of art the other character from super mario rpg and i asked him like don't you have a Gino?" and then he said i had it but i sold it but then i kind of asked him about oh do you plan on like coming for other anime events in the future in the city or in rio or something he said yes and then i got his contact like i got his instagram and something and i think he might work on another gino he also take requests so if i really 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 want i can go there and ask for him but i kind of got the feeling that he would work on more gino arts and then hopefully in another anime event I can meet him again and then I'll have Mello and Gino in two frames and then somewhere on the shelf back there and then I'm, I'm like I I'm in heaven right now because those pieces of art are incredible and they were extremely cheap but like I said I feel a little bit a bit shitty because the artist deserves more, like, he's a very uh, skilled talent, wait, very skilled artist, his talent is amazing, so his art values more, right? But I don't know why he kinda has these cheap prices for his things, right? Uh, like, the price was already cheap, and we kinda negotiated, it got even cheaper. But he was also very nice, like, he was a nice guy, so I think that he doesn't... Uh, he doesn't really want to, like, super uh, profit from his art, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, or he kind of goes in a way that it's good for the client, but it's also not too bad for him or something. But he totally could have uh, higher prices for his art because, like I showed you, it's beautiful. But yes, I was mind blown. He got a mellow piece of art. And hopefully I can meet him again in the future to get the Gino one. Also, hey, Ultras, what's up, man? You guys probably don't know any of those characters, right? <laughs> I'm just assuming that, uh, I don't know, someone would know one of them at least. But Jotaro, which was the first piece of art, and Mello, they are uh, very important characters. I have been loving to watch uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. The dog I bought for the reason I said, like, uh, it reminds me of Morgana the Cat from, from Persona 5. But yes, everything was like also for a good price. So I'm like, count me in, let me get that. But that was what I got from the anime event. So we're saying that he hasn't watched Jojo, but the characters are easy to identify. They do have uh, like a common art style for sure. It's a very artistic anime. He had way more Jojo Bizarre Adventure uh, drawings and prints. He even had two that were like mixing Disney characters with the Jojo characters. I, the first one that I actually saw and I was like, maybe I should get this, was a mix of Josuke. Let me show you a picture of Josuke. Wait, Ultras is sending me a movie. Is it another goal, man? <laughs> Go! It's probably another goal, isn't it? When are they going to change the ads you are getting, Ultras? Come on, they need to show you more Brazilian famous people, I think. Um, yeah, Josuke from Jojo. They were mixing Josuke with Mickey Mouse. And then Jotaro 
the first picture I showed, they were mixing him with Daffy Duck. Yeah, Daffy Duck. Actually, if, if they had a Josuke art by himself instead of like mix it with a Disney character, I would buy it because I prefer Josuke more than Jotaro, the one I bought. Jotaro is the most famous and popular, but Josuke is my favorite. It's this guy. Yeah, this guy right here. His season is also probably my favorite. I mean, is it really my favorite? I do love the fourth arc of Jojo, which is his, and the, the Jotaro's arc as well, which is like the third. I, I love them both for different reasons. I love the Jotaro's one because it goes around tarot cards, and I love tarot cards. And I love his uh, arc, Josuke's, because... Uh, because it reminds me of Persona 4. Yeah, the atmosphere it creates is a lot like Persona 4. So both arts make me think on things I like, Tarot and Persona. So I, I do love those parts of the show. But anyway, that's what I have gotten. Uh, somebody saying, is there a dog in Jojo? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you like him? I forgot his name. Let me see how he was called. His name probably was a reference to a music or to a song. Because many characters in Jojo do reference songs. Yeah, his name was probably something uh, song related. I sent you a better visual. Oh, never mind. Otros did not send me the the ad. Did you go there today uh, again, man? Oh, yeah. You went there today for a walk. I will check your video soon. Let me just uh, finish. Oh, okay. His name is Iggy. Yeah, the name of that dog is Iggy because it's a reference to Iggy Pop, right? It's not Iggy Pop, right? It's Iggy Pop, if I'm not mistaken. The... Is he a metal singer? I think he is. Either metal or rock. Iggy Pop, isn't it? Just confirming what I'm saying because when I enter rock and metal universe, Iggy Pop, there we go. So that dog is named Iggy because he's a reference to Iggy Pop. Um, like real life NFT, I mean, it's a piece of art, so maybe you are using um, a modern uh, name, NFT, for something that existed before NFT, right? So you're kind of making the inverse. <laughs> it's actually uh, that NFT was based in real life, like not the opposite. Uh, I have heard things. Oh yeah, Subaru has heard that dogs in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, they don't have like a happy ending or like things don't go well for them. That is true. I cannot deny that. Dogs, for some reason, do have a bad life in this universe. That's actually something for me to research in the future. Like, why does the creator of JoJo made dogs... Or why that happens to dogs in, in the series, I have no idea. But dogs do have an unfortunate luck uh, in the show. Let me check Ultra's video now. Oh my god. I see the umbrellas already. Wait, is that a water spring or am I crazy? Oh my god, he did a 360. Is that a water spring? What? I I don't I don't know what's that. What is that? Can I pause? It looks like a water spring, isn't it? Can you guys see something? Yeah, right there. It's a water spring, isn't it? But when I play the video, it doesn't move.
uh, that's the beach in Canada that Ultras was to today. It looks great, like it's a beautiful day, and it's, it doesn't look like too crowded, like it does have a good amount of people, but not like enough for it to feel uncomfortable, right? It's actually a little bit funny because right in the beginning of the video, Yeah, right there. You know that I think this is funny because those trees right there, if I had to guess, they are not like tropical trees, right? In my opinion, they are cold weather trees. But seeing them in a beach kind of feels interesting or it feels like, like a good mix. Because those trees are not for uh, hot weather. What, I, I kind of had the feeling I saw a pine tree. Oh, yeah. There are even pine trees right here. So, yeah, uh, those are not common trees for the beach, right? So that's kind of great. And then there are people with their picnic towels. Uh, I will say this again. Everyone should get picnic towels because those are fantastic for to bring to open air or like open places or nature areas like parks, beaches, any place pretty much. I'm loving my picnic towel so much. I, I'm like, how did I get so long before buying one, you know? Totally get one. It's not too expensive if, if you search for, like, that product uh, or browse for it online. Best bot of my year, for sure. I love it so much. I can lay on it, look at the sky, look at the ocean, sunbathe like crazy. Uh, avoid many bugs, not all of them, but many bugs. Highly recommended. Also, it's multi-purpose, right? It even helped me to get rid of the freaking bird poop that got to my arm. It was really warm. It looked like a fantastic day. This weekend in Canada, also here in Rio, it was a fantastic weather. But today, instead of going to the beach, I went to the anime event. Uh, that's about the crowdest it gets. Okay, so... <laughs> If you ever come to Rio, man, be prepared for way more people at the beach. Especially if it is summertime, if it is like the end of the year, December, January, because then it's like the holiday. And yeah, if it is a sunny day, well, the beach will be like exploding with people without like space for anyone else. That's why I said that it has a good amount of people in your video, but not too crowded, right? In here, it's way worse than that. Uh, it wasn't any more busy on Canada Day. Maybe beaches are not that, like, popular in Canada. Could that be a thing? What people generally do in their ultras, in your opinion? Is, like, going to the beach one of their favorite things to do? Or maybe it is just, like, your favorite thing to do and some other people? Because in here, everyone will... Not everyone, of course, but... Um, a lot of the population will give favor to, like, going to the beach, taking a walk uh, by the seaside, or even heading to a park. People in here do love the nature of Rio. Although there are also the, the people that I think they should be getting more use of Rio's nature than what they are actually doing, right? Like, I do have some friends that they are they, they kind of prefer to... It's not, that they, it's not that they don't like the nature from here, but it's like, in their opinion, the nature, or nature in general, is not a strong reason enough for them to leave home. So they have other things they prefer doing, like going to a bar, uh, to a restaurant, or, you know, going out to parties or something. It, in my life, nature is reason enough for me to leave home. It's actually something that helps me to keep on going or living because it's where I find peace. But yeah, some people are more detached from nature. And I think it's a little bit of a waste of like, man, you live in freaking Rio, right? Why don't you, you know, use the best of this nature as most as you can? But yeah, some people here, they kind of don't think it's enough for them to like go out, walk around and 
enjoy it. It makes me a little bit sad, but I guess I understand because people are different, so that's fine. But it's also not because they don't like the nature. If, like, they for some reason are outside already, they will look around, they will enjoy the sunset and, like, anything like that. But it's not a reason alone for them to be motivated to go and leave the nature, basically. I still think they are having the wrong priorities, but anyway, that's just my opinion. Um... Yeah, they turn orange-red leaves fall off over the winter. I thought it was fantastic that the beaches in Canada have those different trees that are not tropical at all. Uh, that gives them a different... Uh, a different vibe, even, than the beaches that I have in Brazil, for example. Uh, then they bud back in springtime around April. That's something you won't see much in Brazil, like very defined seasons of the year no in here it's pretty much it's either crazy storm or like hot hot super hot day so in here we only have like summer and winter basically spring and autumn or fall they are not very well defined you know everything looks either like summer or winter uh, nowhere in canada can have a palm tree outdoors really but it surprises me that the cold weather trees can resist this hot weather because one of the excuses people tell me is that oh, you can't find such trees in Rio because it's hot. I mean, I know that in Canada there are, like I just said, the seasons. So it won't be hot the whole year. There will be some balance in there. But... Honestly, Ultras, you kind of enjoy that hot weather more than what I imagined, so... I don't know, uh, I, I kind of want to think that maybe there could be those trees in Rio too, at least in the mountains, in the mountain area, because Rio also has mountains, a lot, plenty of them, and then those mountains do have a colder weather. The capital, like the city, it does have hot weather, but... Uh, not too far from the city, there are high mountains. And in there, it's cold. Uh, someone in British Columbia might get away with it, but it would be a special site, really not the place for them. The tropical trees, right? Okay, so that would be a great experience for you when you come to Brazil, because then you will see lots and tons of palm trees and coconut trees and like, you know, those skinny, tall AF trees. That if something falls from their leaves, then it's, it's probably going to kill you because of how tall they are. Also, um, we have a lot of... Uh, oh yeah, that's something that I haven't paid attention to. Do you guys have, like, vegetation or, like, nature or plants that grow very closely to the sand? Here we have a lot of that too. Some cacti, but not only cacti. Uh, they are like grass, but not necessarily grass. Maybe bushes and... Um, smaller plants, but not, not necessarily those that will give you like berries, like the ones you have in Canada. But we do have a lot of vegetation near the sand too, with like... A, Smaller sized vegetation. I, I did not pay attention if in that video you had that in there. It looked like it was just grass, the cold weather trees, and the sand, right? In here there is a transition. I'm watching the video again. Yeah, grass. Straight grass. No. In here you do have some plants that are specific for this mix of sand and hot weather. Uh, before you really reach the sand, you know, and it's not grass. Grass is like more for a park. And then Ultra sent me another video of like a night time. Is that a mop? Wait, what the heck? Is it because it's still uh, sunny in there? Like you still have some sunlight? Because in here it's completely dark outside. Yeah, it is 8.40 p.m. Completely dark. Uh, you also want to see something funny? I can send it. For some reason, the sunlight was coming through your blinds and surrounded by 
your broomstick with a glowing... Yeah, I noticed the circle, actually. I, I wasn't sure what was that. Uh, it was like my broom was an a special item to pick up in your living room. It does look like that. Let me show the video on the stream, too. It's like you selected the, the broomstick, right? Uh, can you guys... Wait. Can you guys see it? Yeah, that's the circle, you see? What the heck is that? Is that the ring? The freaking movie with Samara? And... My sister is very scared of that movie. I, of course, avoid that movie with all of my energy. Uh, hopefully you guys could see the, the freaking ring. That it is. It's probably amplifying the broomstick's top, right? The top of it is like round, so it's maybe the shadow of it or something. I think if you live near a beach, then you make an effort to go. But the people I'm telling you, they do live like super close to, to nature. Oh, Pilot, thank you so much for the resub, man. What's up? By the way, Pilot, I don't know if you were here when we... Uh, I think you, you weren't here. But I have news to tell you. Man, oh man, that takes us back to November of 2017. Yeah, that's when I started streaming, right? Pilot was one of the first people that got me uh, streaming in here. He got me when I was playing Chrono Trigger, but my greatest memory of him is actually when I was playing Ship Raider. Yes, I had a lot of his help, and I had such a good time when we were playing Ship Raider. I need to go back to those PlayStation 1 classics, actually. Some other platforms that are in that uh, console as well. Like some Bugs Bunny games. It's Bugs Bunny, right? I hope I got his name right. I, I need to go back to them too. But Pilot, how's it going? I was talking to Ultras about Canada. Uh, last time you were here, we were also talking about Canada. Ultras was showing me some videos of the beach he went today. And I was surprised that the trees or nature in that beach had the cold weather trees, right? And then I was like, man, those trees are beautiful, but they are not found here in Rio because we have the palm trees, the coconut trees, you know, skinny, tall uh, trees as well, and some cacti. So I was like, it's such a crazy mix, like cold weather trees with a beach and then a hot day. So Canada is an interesting place to visit for sure. Uh, what a different world it has, or it was back then, right? It was a different computer, it had a different overlay. Do you remember the overlay that was all white with, like, the dongers uh, around it? Yeah, OG days, man. OG days. It's totally a new time. And thankfully, I'm streaming more now, too. Because I used to stream more uh, when I was starting the, the channel. It feels like a lifetime ago. Follow age. I don't have a follow age bot. I don't have bots. But if you want to know when you are or how long you have been following Ultras, Twitch itself has that for us. You just need to click on your username. Yeah, on the chat. If you click on your username, I can actually do that for you. If I click on your username, it tells me when you followed me. So let me see. Ultras is a follower since uh, J July 2nd of 2017. <laughs> his his account was created on that day <laughs> it's because Ultras is on Twitch thanks to my channel and thanks to YouTube actually you see even though my YouTube channel is like just there for decoration most of times Ultras at least got to my channel thanks to it yeah he created the, the channel or his account on the July 2nd and then he's a follower since July 2nd there we go man but yes, you don't need a, a bot, man. You just uh, can click on the person's username and then to which will give you all of that information. It it not... Oh, wait. It didn't used to be like that. But now they updated this. So you can see that information like that. Yeah, July 2017. That's, that's, that's it. Uh, when I had followed, you were playing Final Fantasy VI, right? Ship Raider was such a ridiculous experience. And I will call it... Uh, wait, I will call it old... Not a classic. It is a classic to my childhood because the, the the way I learned about that game 
was thanks to visiting a friend's house and he had a PS1 and I remember like it was a single afternoon it was like not many days it was just that one afternoon that he for some reason rented that game and I was like you know all like oh my god I want to play something like that because this looks like the game I would love to play like puzzle platforming cartoonish not like serious and violent and full of blood and full of sh bullets and you know not that craziness it was like chill cartoonish even kids like that that's my shit unfortunately or fortunately so for years i was like i will remember this game because i want to play it and then in 2017 it happened and i was surprised that game was very fun very hard as well i feel like pilot was here before uh, let me see when Pilot was uh, a follower. Yeah, Pilot wasn't here. He's, he, he's in here before because he was here for Chrono Trigger. I played Chrono Trigger and then people were like, Oh, you like Chrono Trigger? Final Fantasy VI is the same. Or like, it follows the same idea. So I was like, okay, I'll play Final Fantasy VI next. So Chrono Trigger convinced me to play Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, Pilot is a follower since May. Uh, May 20th of 2017 there we go actually pilot was on twitch since february of 2020 wait 2017 so it wasn't that long that he got my channel it was just like three months after that february march april right yeah uh let me see let me go back a little bit I feel like Pilot was here before me. I don't remember not seeing you around here. But uh, Pilot is like... Uh, he's very busy. Uh, he studies a lot and he works a lot too. So he's only here sometimes. It does feel like a different world. My friend would come by your apartment to watch me to play Final Fantasy VI. People would go there to watch me. Wait a minute. I do think there was one friend of yours that followed me once. Yeah. But then I, who knows what happened to that person? But now that you said that, I think that happened indeed. And then we would get high and eat Chinese food. No idea how to check when we started. You just need to click on your username. Or like, if anyone click or clicks on your username, it shows the information. And that happens in any channel you are part of. Like, if you go to another person's channel, just click on the person's username. And then there will be a window, and that window will say when the person created the account, when the person is following that channel, and everything. Yeah, it was May 20th, 2017. Uh, so, that, so that makes sense. Few months before me. I have known Alan longer than I have known my fiancé. Same for you, Ultras. I met her August 2nd, 2017. That was also very close. Like, Pilot's life uh, is seems to be like very important around that year uh 2017 i was waiting for your final fantasy 6 uploads each week i hope that i didn't get delayed or like i i hope i haven't skipped many streams right probably not i think that by that time i was more focused on streaming regularly than maybe now right although now i'm also changing so i'm trying to stream more and it it's been working so far at least this week but back in 2017, I was more uh, focused on streaming for sure. Now I'm more focused on also my personal life. So it's like a mix. Uh, and then finally I was like, let's get onto Twitch and watch and chat. I think our English was a touch, touch rustier. It was not just a touch rustier. It was much, much more uh, rusty, right? Not worse, but maybe our fluency was a bit bumpier, yes. Also my accent, right? That's for sure. Uh, there were more common words you would mix up. Like, how are you going? Oh yeah. <laughs> that can still happen today. Also, by the way, oh my god. Now that you brought that up. I was in the anime event. By the way, Pilot. Oh yeah, maybe Pilot, don't never mind. Wait, I need to refresh my memory. First, I will ask Pilot. Pilot, have you watched Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? Because I have things in here to show in case you have watched Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Second thing, I think I told you to play Super Mario RPG 
And then still today you haven't played Super Mario RPG, right? I have the feeling that you kind of wanted to stream it one day, but you still haven't if my memory is not wrong. But correct me if I'm wrong, though. Because I also have something Super Mario RPG to show. Uh, but I was going to say that in this anime event I went today, I was there playing video games, and thank goodness the video games in there were awesome. I played some Mortal Kombat 11. Of course, I didn't know what I was doing by pressing the buttons, but I had fun, so that, that works. And I played uh, Mario Kart 8, because they had a Wii U, and I played a lot of Mario Kart 8. But for some reason, maybe I was nervous, maybe I was, I don't know, uh, shy or something, but by the end of the event, maybe also when I was tired or something, when people were playing Mario Kart 8 with me, I felt, I don't know, weird, because sometimes I was trying to say something or to communicate, but m my tongue, my mouth, it was not operating well, basically. So sometimes I wanted to just have a nice talk in Portuguese, and sometimes a, an English word was leaving my mouth. <laughs> so like I was like, what am I doing? I, I was feeling so embarrassed. Because, I don't know, my brain was farting, basically. I, I, I wanted to say something, and then I was like, oh, wait, no, that's not, <laughs> that's not Portuguese. Why am I saying, in, using English right now when I don't need to say anything in English, and then people will think I'm crazy or something? How am I going to make new friends like that? So, thankfully, nothing serious happened. Like, I think nobody commented on that. Because I was also quick to react or to, like, uh, correct myself. But I was so much like, and I struggle because for some reason I was, my brain was reacting with English words for like Brazilian and Portuguese speakers. So I, I was feeling embarrassed. Like, I'm like, this is the moment for me to make new friends and I'm doing that. Like, why am I saying, saying things in English, you know? So it's funny that Otus is saying like, uh, how are you going? I was saying English out of nowhere, trying to speak in Portuguese to people, so I, I felt so so bad for that. But again, nobody said anything, nobody commented on anything. I, I, I want to believe they just like didn't hear me well, you know, or like, who cares for what this guy is saying, I don't know. But I did have English words slipping from my tongue out of nowhere for no reason, uh, when I was in the anime event playing Mario Kart 8. Thankfully, I did make one friend, so let's see how is that going to be for the future and other anime events. And also, I re-encountered uh, a friend that I have met in the last anime event too. So things are going okay, they could have been better, but let's see how is the future, right, with those new people that I have been meeting in those events. And I'm also very happy that everyone, or like, not everyone, I'm sorry, I exaggerated, of course. But maybe I should say, in every anime event, there we go, that's better. In every anime event that I go, people do call me out for recognizing this shirt, the Haikyuu uniform. So I'm also very happy that some people stop by to say, hey, I love your jersey, or like, it's Haikyuu, it's the volleyball anime. So it's been nice and a very good way to interact with people like that too. I even took a picture with a Haikyuu manga. Uh, in that event, but I'm waiting for uh, this one person that I re-encountered to send me the picture because on his phone it was much better than in my phone. So then maybe later I show that on Discord or something. And my Portuguese has not improved, but when you said po wait, you see, you say Portuguese melhor do que eu, or like better than me. <laughs> I was trying to say Portuguese, and then I, I was like. Uh, stuttering or like struggling. Yeah, when you said Portuguese in your stream, man, it was like super fluent. And I also will highlight in here this I told you in your stream as well. Uh, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday, right? I loved your voice on earbuds. Uh, it sounds so low, low on like the vibration maybe. So, if you really wanted to do ASMR, you could. You do have the voice for that. Or, like, be a radio announcer or something. Your voice is great on earbuds. Um, we are way ahead of you. Twitch friends would follow you. Not sure who would have been talking about, but oh well. 
it was a person that I don't know. Uh, maybe he just created an account to follow me and then never showed up again. I don't remember uh, his username anymore. But the situation sounds uh, familiar to me. That one of your friends kind of followed me just because he used to watch the the stream with you back in the day. Uh, his cottage doesn't have internet, so we would have have to hotspot our phone data to watch some of my streams. Five years is a long time, and a lot of time for a change in someone's life. That's that's for for sure. Thankfully, my life right now, even though it's not perfect, of course, is much better than before. Um, I still struggle a lot in my personal life, but mental health wise. I'm taking lessons for every situation I go through. And will those lessons always bring me to a positive path? Not for real, but at least my mental health is much better today thanks to everything I went through. And even though I'm maybe, I don't know, kind of uh, impulsive sometimes, I'm a very impulsive person. Like sometimes I act by emotion, not necessarily uh, r rational or like by thinking. So that makes me very impulsive sometimes, or explosive as well. But I learned a lot from everything I have been through. So even when I'm going uh, in a situation that makes me to feel impulsive or explosive, I understand all of that context, because I know that's how I react, I know that's part of me, and I know what were the triggers that made me get to that point. So by having and gathering all of that data, my anxiety, my mental health has more balance. Because beforehand, I maybe because I was more lost about myself, I, I don't know, I was suffering for things that I couldn't really understand. And of course, there are still parts that I don't understand about my mental health, of course, and also uh, regarding me and my personality, of course. But like I said, like the difficult, the difficulties or the hardships, they taught me a lot. And this year, I have been, you know, putting the lessons to use, and also being more active in my life. Like I know what I want to have in the future, so I'm uh, doing my work or my part, uh, trying to get there. And I realized that I would need to have more friends in real life, or at least people that would be more present uh, to my life because I, I I did want to do more things like hanging out, uh, playing video games together or going to enjoy nature, for example, or going to the anime events like I, I went to, uh, things like that. And then I realized that I'm always alone for those things. So I'm like, you know what, let's go after new people and make new friends. And then so far there are ups and downs, highs and lows. Uh, people that are promising, people that are disappointment, but I'm learning for, from everything. And I know that if I keep on going to those experiences, things will keep on changing for my goals in the future, you know? So this year has been fantastic because I'm like more certain of what I want to have in the future and what's also very important to me. And I'm working towards that. I'm not like waiting for things to necessarily just come to me, you know? No, I'm putting my face in the world. And I'm like, world, I'm here. I want to make new friends. I want to meet new people. Or like, I want to uh, have some new experiences as well. What do you have to offer them? Sometimes it's like a, a bunch of slaps. But there are times that you can hold a hand or like have something that looks good or stable or promising. So yeah, this year, I maybe because I'm also more open-minded now uh it's been a great year for me thanks to that so my life has changed a lot uh, in these five years uh five years ago i had a crappier job basement apartment no cat you didn't have uh oliver how old is oliver then i felt like oliver was an old cat uh, i haven't watched the first two to three seasons of jojo okay i i should sh i should show pilot what i have got then as for Super Mario RPG, that's starting in September. Oh, there we go. Be sure to message me when you are doing it, though. Uh, that's actually something I will ask Ultras as well. Uh, I have been still kind of uh, not watching much Twitch besides, like, streaming. Especially now that I'm streaming more. But if you guys have anything special or crazy going on that you think that I would like uh, to watch, message me. 
because then I will try to organize myself to be there to support you and to watch our streams. Like when Ultras had the cooking stream, and then when Draco said that he was going to have a crazy community raft stream, I was there too because he told me about it. So if there is anything going on like that, message me on Discord, don't Twitch even, uh, anywhere. Then I will organize myself to, to head there. Or sometimes I can stop by randomly, but it's more certain for me to head there in, ca in case you guys uh, let me know in advance, right? So, Pilot, I would love uh, to watch you play Super Mario RPG. Can I show you a little spoiler, though? Because I got this today. Wait, uh, this light? Yes, I got this today, and you will have an amazing adventure with this guy when you play Super Mario RPG. I hope you love him as much as I do. And I, I found this in the freaking anime event. I had to buy it. And then regarding Jojo, I got this Jotaro drawing. I thought it was very well done. And then you said that you watched the third season, right? So I'm not sure if you got to this character, Iggy. But if you continue watching Jojo, you also get to him too. I actually bought him, like I was also saying, because he reminds me of Morgana the cat from Persona 5. So if someday I get some Morgana art, I would love to have Iggy next to Morgana. So those were the drawings and pieces of art that I got from the anime event. Now I need to use alcohol on my hands because I'm preventing from like getting COVID or any other thing. And then after three days or so, those pieces of art will be safer uh, from viruses. And then I don't need the alcohol anymore. Portuguese! There we go, Ultros. Portuguese. Uh, Subway is saying something as well. Let me go back. Oh, yeah. I, sh I should also finish Pilot's message. Uh, my fiancé is leaving for a year. Wait, are is she moving? And the weather is going to get crap. So I will have so much more time for streaming. Uh, you, are got you are having like Mario Mondays. It's going to be a thing. And so RPG will be the inaugural or inaugural. Um, I have never tried pronouncing that word. Maybe inaugural, right? Uh, you started streaming Xenosaga. I think you mentioned something about that. Episode 1 a couple weeks ago. Although maybe someday I'll play it. So I, I would be scared of getting spoiled, right? But in case you get to Xenoblade 1. Even though I also might play it at some point. But I have watched al a an almost complete playthrough of Xenoblade in the past. It was by Chugga Conroy. Uh, he's a very good YouTuber in my opinion. So, in case you get to Xenoblade 1, I can see myself watching that. Even though, like, I should forget it and then I play it blind by myself. But I have kind of watched a lot of it. So, what is spoiling myself again for something I was already spoiled in the past, right? Uh, maybe I could prevent myself from checking out the end. Like, the very end. Because I also haven't checked the end of that playthrough. But for the beginning, for sure, I could uh, watch Xenoblade 1. Uh, I started streaming Xenoblade Saga 1 a couple weeks ago. Uh, you missed this weekend due to a very bad cough. Oh, no, and lung pain. Are you feeling any better now, though? Be sure to uh, drink lots of water. Let me actually do that again. Also, drink some tea, right? Uh, if you have some propolis, uh, spray tool and honey, ginger is good as well. And eat soup, vegetable, liquids, you know, all of those nutritious things that I will be back tomorrow because this weekend I only ate crap. Burgers, pizza, yeah, that was my, my dishes or my food this weekend. Tomorrow it's like big plate of rice, black beans, farofa, vinaigrette, salads, potatoes, uh... Not barbecue, though, because I don't think I will be able to get barbecue, but, you know, healthier things. Somebody's saying that I forgot to change the options, <laughs> the language options in my brain before heading to the event. That does happen sometimes that I... It's most likely when, it's, when it is like an unexpected reaction 
uh, from my part, like something that surprises me. So when I need to say something out of a surprise, sometimes I say something in English by accident because I'm not like thinking or something. And yeah, normally it's like a quick reaction. Uh, something happened in the game, for example, in Mario Kart 8. I don't know, I got hit by a blue shell when I was winning or something. And then I don't say a uh, surprise word in Portuguese. I end up saying something in, in English. Either that or when I need to correct something I said. When I say something like, oh, wait. Yeah, that's something I say by accident a lot. Oh, wait, because I want to fix what I said before or like... Uh, pay more attention to my memories if they are right or wrong. So even when I'm speaking in Portuguese, sometimes I say, oh, wait, <laughs> when I'm like, this is not in Portuguese. <laughs> so those are the situations that I kind of accidentally say something in English when I shouldn't. But again, people did not say anything about it, so who cares? Uh, yes, do have some voice compliments a lot. There we go. In fact, I recently met someone I work with, but in real life, otherwise, we have only communicated over the internet, and he thought I was using a, a voice changer? <laughs> okay, th that person went too far with that, though. I think trying to figure yourself out never stops, that's true. But you get to check more and more boxes along the way. A exactly. Uh, he's probably seven by now, Oliver. I have had him five years and he was around two-ish when he moved in. Um, how did you meet him? Did you go to a adoption center or something? Or was he a stray cat? And I didn't get him till I had my own place. Uh, no one has it redeemed a cooking stream. Uh, a cooking stream in a while. Not sure exactly what is up for the next one, but I'm sure someone is saving for it. People don't seem to redeem too much on your channel. They farm. In here, there are the hydration uh, redeems. Uh, I, I would say that's the most common one. And sometimes there are the sound alerts. Uh, but it mostly happens when we are kind of messing with the sticker alerts as well. But like I said to you before, right? Uh, I don't have many things to redeem or like as rewards per se. But this week... If my items that I purchased last week get to my home, I may have some decorative things on the back of the scenario or like on my shelf or somewhere around there that could be a reading. So I will work on that too. But I need those items to get to my home maybe this week. Uh, not sure exactly what is up for... Oh, wait, I, I read that. Those are really both awesome. I love this guy's art. And I don't know if you know who's Gino Pilot, but we will also meet Gino in Super Mario RPG. This one artist said that he had one of Gino, but somebody bought it. But I got his contact, so maybe I will message him later and see in which other anime event he will be again, or like he will go again, and then get this Gino from him. Yeah, another one. Because if I can get Mellow and Gino in my shelf, together with the Mario... Oh yes, one of the items I purchased is Mario related. So it's also going to be great to have Mellow close to it. You guys will see it next week and I hope. Uh, speaking of which, I have 9, 980k points for me right now. That's a bunch. You know Wiggy? Okay, so Pilot knows the dog. After I finish Zeno Saga, episodes 1 to 3, then I will play Xenoblade Chronicles 1. There we go. I can see myself uh, watching Xenoblade Chronicles 1 more than Zeno Saga. Uh, it is a bit of a long story, but he belonged to someone... I oh, okay. Uh, he belonged to someone he worked with who had too many cats, and he was actually supposed to be a workplace cat. But things happened and he couldn't leave at work, so you took him. Especially if you guys had the, like, you are a chef, right? So if you were working with food, having cats in kitchens, it's not very recommended, right? So in case that work you were talking about was towards uh, the cuisine and, like, cooking, it's not that easy. Well, I couldn't right away 
because my landlord was making a deal about it, although not allowed to tell me I can't bring pets. I see, so he was a bit upset, but it was not forbidden. Is it that the way? So you just got annoyed having to get someone else's approval for a place you live in. Oh, wait, he was not allowed to say it directly, huh? I see. So then you bought your own place, then you took Oliver in. Uh, the old cat never once came in the kitchen, and because it was a, a home for the old for the old aged cats. Wait, never mind. The old cat never once came in the kitchen. And because it was a home for the old aged, so like for people, not cats, the cats were welcome just for being pets for all of the elderly who lived in there. Oh, I see. Thank goodness the kitchen and the animals were uh, separated with like some sort of organization, right? I see, I see. Because like cats do drop a lot of fur, right? So that can be bad for cooking and like for a restaurant. Uh, the old cat, meaning the one who died, and then Oliver was the replacement. Oh, I see. So they had like a previous cat. Well, he tried to tell me no pets, which they can't. But I was like, law okay. Well, I am moving out next month. So I used my deposit as last month GG's. So the old cat used to come to the door all the all of the kitchen, but it knew 100% never to step inside. Just walk the door the doorway and it was sort of funny. Maybe he was curious to, to know like what are the food in there? Do you have fish or something? But then thank goodness he was behaved. Uh, let me go back to the other screen. Uh, there we go. And then we can like continue chatting, but then I will also start uh, the playthrough in here a little bit, because it's been like an hour of chatting. By the way, I don't know how far I am in this game, but after it, as we were also talking about how it's been five years of this channel, after this game, I'm planning to have the stream anniversary, uh, the five years stream anniversary. And then one of the games I probably will be playing there, if not the only one, but I need to think about it, is Words on Stream. Uh, it is a game that I bought this Steam sale, and it is a party game, like a Jackbox, in some ways. So that's probably going to be the like community game for us to be playing together. And then after that stream anniversary, I'm thinking about jumping into Golden Sun. Yeah, the next main RPG in here. Also because it's been forever since I've been, I have been telling uh, Meowser, speaking on cats, that I would play Golden Sun and I think Meowser has like, uh, he's probably tired of waiting because he seems very excited for Golden Sun. So it's going to happen. Oh, when I was starting the stream, by the way, I was saying how I felt like changing my party. This right here, like the Spice Girls pretty much. They are my favorite party in the game so far, they have a very good balance, they can heal, they can multi-target attacks, and everything. But I don't know why I felt like, let's do something different, let's go for the other party members. Especially Finn, it's been forever since I had Finn in my party. I, I may regret my decision because I don't know if they will have... Uh, if they will be that good, maybe they won't, uh, in the battles. But just to have like a fresh air, fresh faces, fresh everything, I felt like going for other party members today. I have Clark and Dave. Dave, in my opinion, is like maybe my least favorite party member. But he has a couple healing skills. Sue has nothing healing besides his programs. Finn, I also think he doesn't have anything healing, right? Oh, don't change that though. Uh, abilities? Wait. There we go. Oh yeah, Alisa has healing. I forgot about that. Alisa can be a healer. What about Finn? He has... Shoot, cover fire, hide... This is useful. 
uh, Stinging Fly. Heat up, second wind. Oh, wait, he does have a hidden attack. But it's only for himself, though. Okay. Arrest, burn, and the flawless shot. Double damage if the user's HP is at max. This is not bad. Oh, yes, pilot. In case you are still here, I was saying that I had something to tell you, right? One of these days, and then I think you were here for that conversation. The community was convincing me to play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And I know that's a game you like, and it seems that everyone in this freaking channel loves that game for some reason. So everyone convinced me, and I gotta highlight Victor, because I think that Victor... I, I don't know how to say this, but... For some reason, Victor is a person with... I was even telling him that, like, he's a person that impacts. So when he says something, it kind of gets to me somehow. And Victor, out of nowhere, said that he liked that game and it's a good game. So I was like, I cannot believe Victor is like... <laughs> like in this group of KOTOR fans and all, you know, I was like shocked. I, I wouldn't imagine Victor was part of this mafia of Knights of the Old Republic. When Victor said, it's a good game, you should play it, I was like, okay, I'm down, I will play this game. And then Gabriel gifted me the game uh, during this Steam sale, so I have the game, I told you all that I would play it, so it's happening. Uh, now, for sure, like, it's, I don't know when, but I, I now have the game. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, either you or... or... Maybe you or Gabriel actually tried to gift me that game before, but I kind of think it was you, Pilot. And then I said, no, I can't accept it because I won't play it, uh, like this game is not for me or something. And then I denied the, the gift, and, and then Gabriel gifted it to me now saying, you can't refuse or deny a gift for the second time. And then, there we go, KOTOR at some point, right? Oh, but I gotta say... Uh, I don't know if you were here when I said that. I think I got a spoiler from it. Yes, uh, Gabriel kind of made me want to believe that it was not a major spoiler for some reason, but it sounded major to me. So just in advance, in case it is really a spoiler, I'm not certain, but it sounded like it. I'll tell you what was it. I was browsing my YouTube feed, and then I follow Watch Mojo. Sometimes I get topics from Watch Mojo. For example, when we were talking about uh, some... Canadian fun facts that happen in Canada, but not necessarily they happen in lots other places or in many other places. Uh, it was like a top 10 list from Watch Mojo where I got those fun facts. So one of their fun facts or videos was about 10 games where the protagonist dies. And then the thumbnail was a Star Wars game. I did not watch that video. I did not check like the content. But the thumbnail kind of made me feel like maybe this is KOTOR. You know, uh, maybe that's actually why people love the game so much. Because, like, it is such a revolutionary game that in, in that game the protagonist dies. I don't know, you don't need to tell me anything and please don't. Because then I will play the game, like, uncertain if it, if it was KOTOR or not. But I'm just telling you in advance that in case somebody or the protagonist dies in that game... I already know it thanks to the Watch Mojo uh, spoiler, right? But that's all. The rest of it, I don't know anything. So, KOTOR is an amazing game, with the cave at the game that felt a lot bigger when it came out. Uh, recently, you replayed it, and while. Wait, wait. Now I'm struggling in, in English. Uh, KOTOR is an amazing game, with the cave at that, the game felt a lot bigger when it came out. Recently replayed it, and while amazing, it was much smaller than what you remembered. But people told me it has a lot of side questing. So, another reason why people think I will like it is because of the side questing, right? I won't confirm or deny whether anything like that happens in the game. There we go. But when that day comes, just telling you that I won't be very surprised. 
because of this one, unfortunately, Watch Mojo thumbnail. Uh, let's see. Yes, I wanted to give him flawless shot. Do I have anything worse than that? Oh. KV. 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 Wait. I I'm not sure if I will say it right now, though. Caveat? Caveat? I, I felt like it was... Or they were two words. Cave at. But it's now a new English word. My first one was right. Now or before? Caveat. W with the caveat? It sounds French. There we go, perfect caveat. That sounds French for some reason. Uh, let me see what is that. I have never seen that word. Oh. Is it like embargo? Why is Google translating that as embargo? A warning or proviso of specific strip stipulations, conditions or limitations. There are a number of caveats which concern the, va the validity of the assessment's results. No, that, that doesn't sound like embargo to me though. But it sounds like a warning, basically. So, with the warning that the game felt a lot bigger when it came out. Okay, now I get the context. Yeah, now with this translation of warning, I could get the idea from Pilot's message. I will write that down. having for tonight's dinner like I was saying I only ate junk food this weekend so I had Burger King um, okay I will keep that this is good too I could take this out yeah stinging fly is not that great So we have Flawless Shot, Burn, uh, Heat Up, Cover Fire, Hide, Shoot, and Trench, and Second Wind. Uh, Pilot had Vegetarian Sushi. Yesterday, Ultras was having sushi, and, some, and, and something shrimp related. Uh, vegetarian sushi rolls for dinner. So much delicious avocado and sweet potato. That sounds good. I could try vegetarian sushi. When you say vegetarian, yeah, you also mean like no fish, right? So I, I could try that, yeah. My problem with sushi is the fish. And then Sue has combo, faint, bolo punch. Uppercut, Taunt, why is Clint right there? Uh, it defends 40% and inflict, it, it inflicts Disarm on target. While this one kinda attracts the attacks to him. Honestly, I think I prefer Clint. Counter 
Round Slam. What is below the belt right there? It damages and inflicts vulnerability. It's 100% of vulnerability? We have the Bun Rush. Why does this sound like a Final Fantasy attack? Was Bun Rush in Final Fantasy VI or something? And you have Laugh and Turnabout. No, Turnabout is very specific. And then, instead of Chon, I can go with the Clark or... Or Dave. Let me check Clark first. Uh, it was the sushi, right? And then tonight we're having what? Ultras. Oh, never mind. It was the Final Fantasy VI attack. It was a super strong move from Sabin. Sabin is my favorite Final Fantasy VI character, by the way. I struggled so much to like perform his attacks, but I really liked his character. Where he does lap wait, where he does laps around the enemy and the screen flashes. And then the blitz input is a complete circle on the D-pad. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's why I remember the word, because it's such a traumatizing thing to perform on your controller when like I have no coordination for anything like that. Like fighting games in the past. Street Fighter or I don't know, Tekken, King of Fire, they all are full of like Right, left, A, B, B again, and then up, down, and then you perform a crazy attack, combo attack. I can never do such things. So that's exactly why I struggled with Saban. Even in the world ends with you, which is like one of my favorite Nintendo DS titles, there is one party member that goes on combo attacks too. I can never perform the recipes correctly, like up, left, down, right, A, B, I can't. But the one attack that Saban had that I could use a lot was... Can I remember that? Um, no, I can't remember that anymore. But it was one of his basic attacks. It, If I'm right, the animation was a lot like a Kamehameha of some sort. You got a pizza today? Oh, yesterday I had the pizza. It's, it's your time tonight. Uh, Clark has kick, self-destruct, chillax. Uh, wait, this is more defense. Jazz hands. It's for ailments. I don't want that. Petty theft. Waltz. This is good, but it's deadly. Mortify. Oil spill. Para 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 balls like Colette's attack from Tales of Symphonia. Jitterbug. This is actually good. This is not bad. Spin spin spin. Wait, this is. I, I don't like that. I don't need spin spin spin. It's just like for more speed. Oh. Never mind, never mind. I was reading the wrong uh, description. Jitterbug is the speed boost. I don't need that. But spin, spin, spin is an attack. Yeah, this is actually very good. And then save and quit. And too cool. It's for more style. I also don't need that. And then rocket boot. It damages over a small area. This is not bad. But then do I want to make a change wait kick does a hundred percent of physical and this one is a hundred fifty I'm making that change Then let me save again. And finally, let's explore the city.
Greetings Traveler, the Cyberrex camp welcomes all. Oh, by the way, is the audio alright? Uh, as this is like the... The game from this week's streams that I was missing the audio check. Hopefully the audio is okay. If nobody said anything, I'm guessing it is okay. Like, can you guys hear the game well? Uh, the Samurax camp welcomes all. Are you trying to access the terminal? You need a trans translate to con. <laughs> I don't need a translate to con unless you can read the Samurexian. I mean, are you speaking Samurexian to me right now? Because if you are, I can't understand it. Sabri so saying that he believes it's okay. There we go. Most of my testings are, are being good then. Wait, is this a secret? Oh, it's not. I wish to were though. Oh, but there is something more to this side. Is that a bomb? We keep repair materials here, but you need a terminal to access this storage facility. So this is a storage facility. I will write that down. Maybe this is a side quest already. Uh, gain access to the storage facility. And I don't know what is the city's name. Maybe Simon Rex Camp. I will just put in the camp. Because I'll get the reference. In the camp. He said that I need what? Uh, a terminal. Okay. Needs... Terminal. Uh, by the way, Subaru. Uh, I, I will bring this up because you were the person that said something about this topic on Discord. And it's something that I kind of haven't brought up so far. Uh, like in the week's streams. We had those speculations towards the Nintendo Switch Pro, right? Uh, in the past days. And my friend even told me that, oh, the investors are checking Nintendo's, uh, like, debts and, like, numbers and, like, things they were buying recently and lately. And they figured that Nintendo has been purchasing lots of materials. Uh, just like what this guy said, like, repair materials, right? Nintendo has been purchasing lots of materials. And then people were like, normally when... Uh, companies spend a lot of money on materials they are working on the next console and then everybody was like oh it's the switch pro it's the switch pro and then also some days uh, before this one announcement uh, people figured that nintendo hid some of their trailers for the nintendo switch oled and then another thing that made made people believe oh yeah it's switch pro like it's happening they are hiding the uh, Nintendo Switch OLED trailers or ads so they can come with the new console and then everyone will get those results on YouTube when like watching Nintendo ads but in the end the announcement from Nintendo was actually a new version of the Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switch OLED so many people were disappointed because oh it's not Switch Pro still and the server didn't like uh, that version. Honestly, I thought it was okay. Um, it is definitely not like very uh, colorful like you pointed out because Splatoon is a very colorful game, right? But I also think that for my taste, I would rather have something more discreet instead of like super flashy. So that's why I personally like that. Um, even though I see that it's not full of colors and stuff. But what I'm really excited now is for the future, because I don't think they were purchasing materials just for Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switch OLED, right? So I do hope that that was just a start. Like, I wanna see a Pokemon Nintendo Switch OLED, or a Mario, a Zelda, uh, maybe even a Metroid, a Nintendo Switch OLED version. I'm thinking they may be releasing versions for all of those games now.
but again overall speaking people were disappointed that it was not the switch pro my friend was certain that it would be the switch pro our tribe belongs to the hive this camp will su suffice will suffice for now but the hive unites us Patience, youngling. When the hive has been liberated, I will take you there, I promise. Uh, what is going on with this hive? I have never visited the hive. I want to see it. Uh, Sabri said that he, be he hopes that Nintendo will be more creative on the next models, because that one was kind of lazy. Yeah, it, it doesn't have lots of details, right? But it's like what I said, uh, in my personal taste, small touches do look beautiful enough uh, to me. Although, yeah, uh, they didn't done, or they haven't done that much. Uh, our great hive amplifies our hive mind field. Also, by the way... <coughs> That Nintendo Switch was for Splatoon 3, but if I'm not mistaken, Splatoon 3 is also not out, right? It was not released already. Or maybe I should say it was not released yet. Maybe they will release it together with the game or something? Uh, but with the Hive invaded by Dark Forces, the Hive mind is weak. Uh, we, make, we make do here. So the Hive got invaded? I guess we need to go there to help the hive, right? Could the hive be just the name for their houses? Like those doors right there? But I don't want to practice, I want to explore the swamps. Please, youngling, you must practice your telepathic defenses. Without practice, stray dark energy might overtake you, sickening both body and spirit. These bugs or these Simorax, they have a lot of wisdom. There is much to worry about these days, the abductions, the hive infestation. This is V-Rex. <laughs> That's actually a very cool username, don't you think? V-Rex? I can see like, I don't know, a, 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 an eSports player that uses a nickname like that, V-Rex. What business do you outsiders have in here? I don't trust outsiders, but if you prove to be a friend to our people, is that a side quest? That sounds like a side quest. Also because he has... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe he's a... I'm now predicting this game, right? Maybe he is a support character. Yeah, maybe after we save this village, he joins our spaceship as a support or supporter. Okay, so V-Rex. Trust. We gotta get his trust. Looking for someone? Ask around the town, check our computer systems, you'll find your Cyberex. Well, let's check the houses. These houses, they remind me of another Final Fantasy game. I think I'm thinking on Final Fantasy IX. There is a city that has... I don't know, doors or entrances that are on the sides like that. I think it is one of the cities that we learned about Vivi's... Uh, not really about Vivi, but like about Queen's Brawn, if I'm not mistaken, that's her name. Uh, what she was doing to the Black Mages, right? In that game. Yeah, that city that I'm thinking right now. It's a small city. Uh, 
this looks a lot like Zelda Breath of the Wild now, with all of the runes, right? And colors, too. The Hive Network amplifies telepathic communication. It allows us to locate each other even from greater distances. Server cap... cap wait. Server capac capac capacity, right? Capacity? Uh, server capacity insufficient. Repairs are needed. Are you looking for someone? You are welcome to use the terminal on the left. That is assuming the network is up and running. It's not running right now. It needs repair. Uh, our camp systems pale in comparison to those of the Great Hive Tower. Psybe is a hot-blooded one. Always going on about how we need to take back the Hive Tower by force, if necessary. Our people are explorers, scientists, gatherers, inventors, and researchers, not warriors. Wait, but some people outside were training defensive skills, right? Even if Psybe is right, who among us has the skill and the will to fight back to reclaim the hive? I'm wondering what got into the hive now, like, what, what could it be? They were saying dark forces, but like... Is it not like the... Agency? The, the API? Wait, this is also a door. My boss is on my case about this network server. It's not running at full cap capacity. <laughs> they are really making me to learn how to pronounce that word tonight, right? Uh, it's not running at, at full capacity. But he won't let me leave my post. Say, if you can grab the spare Eon capacitor, from storage and bring it to me, I could fix this stupid thing. Okay, so now I have a trade side quest, right? I know where is the storage, but they need... They need a terminal. And then in here, we need something from the storage so they can fix the server, I guess. We need to grab the spare Eon cap capacitor. Okay, so we go there and get the Eon... Capacitor. Uh, side note, I'm feeling a little bit sleepy right now, or maybe it's the effect of like everything I have done this week. So don't mind if I'm like struggling to read things or like if I'm a little bit slow. If I really get more sleepy, then I will wash my face to like get more energy. But I'm a little bit more chill, you know, right now. That's true, Subaru. That's the city that I was trying to remember. Dali. Yeah. That is the, the, the village. I don't know why that outside, like the outside of this city, made me think of Dali for some reason. And then they will be able to fix this storage, right? I mean, this uh, server. The hive has more room for incubation pods. We make do where we can here. Normally the great hive tower extends our hive mind capabilities. But since we have moved here, we have had to install short range antenna units powered by small scale generators. These guys are very tech and very... Uh, I, I don't know. Psychic as well That's a very good combo. It's like the matrix Now I'm getting to understand how Psybe was able to steal the Lumina device from Enzo He's a smart AF and he understands about technology uh, welcome guests, but keep your voices low. The younglings grow the best in a quiet environment. 
Oh, so this is like a... Like a, an egg storage? Uh, we left the hive, then members of our race started disappearing. At first we thought they were just exploring for materials, but their telepathic signatures were wiped out. It is terrifying to sense a kindred spirit one moment and then suddenly nothing. We can nurture as many as 8 younglings in a single pod. Use trans... Translo... Translotcons? <laughs> Translotcons? to teach the younglings the common language. They can also be used by humans to understand written Samaraxian. Oh, here, have a go? I got a Samaraxian Translotcon. Have fun. Or how fun. Okay, so now I can read, right? Can I read this? No. Uh, the incubators have... The incubators help our young to grow and our wounded to heal. They are invaluable. So, what can I read? Oh, wait a minute. Now I think I know what is the hive they are talking about. Outside of this city, the overworld. I can even go there. There were two places, right? There was this city and then north. Oh, oh, never mind. I can't show you north right now. Let's go ahead. That right there. That's the hive. I was thinking it was some sort of castle, palace, or, you know, something that divided this city in two. But maybe that's the hive they are talking about. It, it gotta be it. And then up here, there is a forest that we explored last time. So, have I checked everything? No, there is a shop in here. I scavenge for parts and bring them here to be worked into useful equipment. And this guy is probably the one selling shields. No, he sells weapons. We have the power bow. It gives us plus hackitude in 10 points. It's so bad. It's bad, girl. Uh, it gives me more hackitude for sure, but what is the difference between my previous weapon and this one? It shows that it's green. So... It's a buff, but then I need to see what did I have before. You know what? Just buy it. Oh, wait. Buy it, but do not equip it. No, just buy it. Sonic and Knuckles, huh? Sonic and Knuckles? Wait, what was the Sonic and Knuckles reference now? Oh, <laughs> oh, never mind. I now get it. Okay, it's the weapon right there, right? Sonic and Knuckles, that's true. <laughs> Gotta punch fast! <laughs> <laughs> it is seriously a freaking reference. Good call, Ultras. There you go, man. Gotta punch fast. But so... Oh, never mind. It does uh, add more attack to Sue. Also, he has a hyper speed... Hyper Speed is on the new Sonic game, like Sonic Frontiers, the Sonic Open World, Breath of the Wild thing. They do have Hyper Speed zones in there. It's Cosmic Star Heroine predicting the future. And then now we know that Knuckles will be in that game, in Sonic Frontiers. You have to head off, but that's alright, man. Uh, your fiance just got home. Enjoy the most you can, uh, like the time you can with her for sure. Now that you told me that she's going to travel uh, at some point. I hope you guys can have like fantastic times together while you, you, were you two are close by, right? So have a great night, man. Uh, take care. And also uh, let me know about when we start Xenoblade 1 or any other uh, special stream like my RPG as well. 
because I will be there for sure. So take care, man. Have a good night, and I see you then. Uh, so I'm gonna go spend some time with her for sure, man. We'll do, my man. There we go. Thank you so much, pilot. I see you then. Uh, let's buy the Sonic and Knuckles, right, Ultras? Uh, then let me see. Spark Tama. Then Spark. Spark is like my magic attack. And then plus five of cunning. And makes you feel all charged up. Okay. Let's buy that too. And then Sonic is cool. Scores? Wind up and stun up. I don't know if Lauren has stunning abilities. She normally goes for poisoning attacks. Actually lighter than carry nothing. What? <laughs> Wait, what the heck? That's just an exaggeration that can't be. That goes against the physic laws. But buy that too, why not? And then Clark has the cowboy boots. Don't let your robots install cowboy.x. I don't know why that made me think on Cowboy Bebop. Maybe that's a reference because like Clark does have some sort of music skills thanks to he being a dancer, right? So I don't know if that there, there could be a connection. Cowboy boots, sure. Now I need to check all of them again. So now we have the shield staff. It gives me defense plus 20, but if I change to the other weapon, which was the power bow down there, I get uh, 30 more attack, right? Yes. And more hackitude. Honestly, what do you guys think? Honestly, I think I would still keep the shield staff for the defense purpose. I prefer having defense over attack. Not to mention that this also adds plus 5 into everything. I will keep that. So next we have Sue with the Sonic and Knuckles. Let's see if it's good. Now he has the Gold Fists that adds HP and Cunning. While Sonic and Knuckles has the Hyper Speed. And it's 132 of attack. But then I'll be losing 25 of HP. Although Sue is a character that goes for, you know... He goes for the offense. So maybe giving him more attack is good. And it's Sonic and Knuckles, right? We gotta go for it. Um... Uh... Finn has the big gun. We have two solid shots. Let's sell one. Also, we have two Spark Thomas. Okay, sell one. Fancy cutlery, yeah. Solid shots. There we go. Yeah, the best one he has is the big gun. Then we have the robo boots or the cowboy boots. Cowboy boots for sure. And then that's it. Oh, by the way, I said that I would consider either Clark or Dave. But I forgot to check Dave, right? Uh, Dave has Zap, Grind, I don't like that, I can change that for sure. Wait, um, and Viral Hack, that's okay-ish, but it's very random. Conf wait, Confound, I don't think it's that good, so I can change this shoe. Patch is better than those things, so let's have Patch. Then Confound, I can change that. Uh, 
uh, system crash, you can keep it, troll. Mm, this is also not that good. Hack. It charms, especially robots. Bandwidth. I don't like that. Breach. It's another buff. Then, then the breach. Uh, it's vulnerability. No. Buffer zone. Max HP plus 20%. Okay, that's good. The cheat code. The DDoS. RDG. And the reboot. Heals, revives, and cures the party? That's that's super great. And then we have troll. We don't need troll. So, uh, out of the rest I have read, I think DDoS is good. Like maybe it's stunning everybody. And then system crash, buffer zone, zap, and viral hack. Dave will be my healer right now. So maybe I will keep Dave. He has the shield pad with absorb and grinder. Yeah. And he has the adventure shield, which is more healing programs. Uh, abilities, not abilities, uh, equip pin. He has the absorb shield. No, let's change that. Hmm. What is this inspire technique? Wait. It bestows wisdom upon the wearer. I don't know what it means, like what it does. Arrest or deputize? What the heck? Oh, inflict disarm and stun. Charm and power up. No, I don't like that. Go back to this one, Insight. Oh, it boosts the damage. Mm, I don't need that either. Uh, beast, Steel, Groove, and, or None. Out of those, I like the one that has- yeah, Dark, with the Void Bullet. Void Bullet is a very good attack. Equip Su, he has the protector. It's high, the solid stance and block. I will keep it to him. Yeah. Uh... Let's do it like this. I will test this party now uh, with Finn, Su, and Dave. And in case it goes too bad, then I pick Clark up. Also because Clark had his time to shine not too long ago because he's like the most recent party member. So let's give the attention to Fan that's forgotten, Dave that's also in the shadows, right? Sue had his moment too together with Clark and Lauren. But yeah, if somebody here disappoints me, then we go get Clark. Uh, they gave me the item to read or understand Cymorexian. But... Where are the things for me to read? Oh, oh I just found a computer in here. Uh, it's the Sykes Hive Network. I have the map or I can unlock storage. Why is this... system working now? Like... I noticed they have, or they ask for, a trading side quest. I don't feel like I have started the trade, so why is the server working? But the storage is now unlocked, huh? Oh, 
Oh, okay, this was actually easy. They just said, for me to gain access to the terminal, not to the terminal, to the storage, I had to just check the terminal. The terminal is this. So, alright, this makes sense, even though it's more simple than what I thought. So now I can enter, yeah. In the storage, I can get the Ion Capacitor. That's probably this. Okay. So we bring this to the Simorex in the server room. And I think you'll be completing this straight inside quest, which was this one, right? This guy. Thanks, you are a lifesaver. Just wait until I fix this thing up. The networks are back to full capacity. Should restore some signal range on our computer's network. Okay, so what's different now? But I'm going to explore or check this networking here first, this terminal first. Uh, we have the map, there is a shop, servers, communication, storage, and nursery. Wait, now maybe I need to go to the communication? Yeah, right? Is something going on in here? Oh yeah, maybe this part. There we go, now we can access this part. Uh, we can either scan Hive Tower or the Hive Mind status. Scan Hive Tower. Samurax detected at the Hive top floor, Psybe. So that's Psybe? He has some sort of mechanical mask or metal mask? So we now know that Psybe is in the, at the Hive. Yeah, it looks like our thief is currently in the Hive Tower. Let's go get him. I have the feeling he's defending or protecting the Hive Tower from whatever dark energy they have been talking about. What about the Hive Mind status? Uh, Samurax Hive compromised. Foreign entities detected. Okay, maybe by foreign entities and like dark energy, they really meant the agency. It's funny when I say agency right now that I that I kind of think about elite bit agents. No, not those agents. Those agents are good and the best people around. They only have some hard less levels to beat, but that's another story. Uh, we are talking about the agency of intelligence and peace, which is actually the opposite of that of that name, right? as they want to brainwash everybody so they can have this supposed peace but then rip free will uh, extensive repairs required so it's also broken all right and then what about the hive mind status oh that was it okay never mind any new dialogues in here So probably I got that translator thing, so I could understand that terminal message, right? And now that we are off to the hive, let me save. There we go. Will this party be good? I have my low expectations, but I do think I should, like, bring them back for once just to see what they have to offer now. Okay, this cutscene is a lot like Chrono Trigger when you are getting to the... Um, Mega's Tower, right? Or Castle. Yeah, I got flashbacks from that now. I have the feeling this place will be a huge exploration. It looks huge from the outside. 
So before proceeding in, also by the way, good music. It even sounds a little bit Pokemon. Uh, before I jump into this, I will wash my face so I can get some more energy. And then I'll be fighting whoever has invaded this place. So I'll be right back. back and yes i'm quite sleepy i was yawning like in the bathroom too but there is nothing like some good good and cold water to wash your face maybe some head slaps or like face slaps could wake me up as well by the way can you notice like heads it's not a head, but I can kind of see something that reminds me of a head on those pillars, like this one. Oh, dialogue. What a strange place, and to think the Simon Rex is to live here. But this is no time for a sightseeing. We have to reach the top of this tower and get the Lumina device back. Yeah, like this pillar, I see a head that has a beard. And it's like a bald head. I don't know if you guys can see that head. But let's see what is this place about. Scorpions, huh? It looks like a battery could go there. Puzzles! This does feel also like a Zelda dungeon or something. I oh, it's a... <laughs> I was thinking those were stairs. No, that's a gate. Oh yeah, this does feel more like a Zelda dungeon than the Pokemon reference I was saying. What is this right here? Oh yeah, I like how they were saying that this is the hive and how the floor tiles are hexagons, right? Just like a real hive. But also this has a mix of tech with natural and I don't know some sort of wax as well which is not honey but this does have a very good concept oh that's the blue battery okay the yellow battery doesn't budge the battery charging station, yellow battery damage. Maybe I need to find another one? Is the blue battery for this terminal? You try placing the battery in the slot, but nothing happens. What could be wrong? It's not the right battery. Let's have our first fight with this new party. It is a single enemy, so come on, we won't die from this, right? Let's start with... Let's see... Knockout. It's weak to fire. It is a... <laughs> it is a hugs the infester. It's weak to fire, friendly but not your friend. Okay. I'm sorry. 
I, I couldn't befriend you. Not that I really wanted, because you look like kind of dangerous and stingy. Uh, let's go for. The faint. Oh. Oh, this is actually not good. I mean, unless I have more enemies to fight. Because Fen is not is like my slowest party member, so as he can't attack first, I can't use the flawless shot if I'm only fighting one enemy, right? Or at least I'm not going to get the best of this attack. Because everyone will probably have hurt the enemy. Yeah, somebody said it's a single enemy. What could be wrong? And then suddenly there's a tone berry. Oh, don't remind me of the tone berry, man. Those things were were really serious. Or the Marlboro as well, right? Single enemy must die or must kill everybody. Not to mention that the tone berries normally showed in groups. Like three tone berries at once. I will try going for heat up. It's weak to fire, right? But my boy Fen is not the strongest attacker. Let's go for water. And then Dave can go for System Crash. Let's see the Enviro hack. Like what is the natural power and essence that we can get from a technological hive? It looks like it's healing. It is healing. Okay, so Dave may be useful in here as a very good healer. So actually this different party may not be that bad. Maybe the fights will be slower because Fan like can't hurt a fly or a scorpion. But that's why I have Sue as well. Sue is here to cause damage. And then um, Alisa is a perfect balance of healer and attacker, right? Now I go for System Crash. It is quite fitting to have Dave in my party in a such technological and special place, right? Our reach should be in my party too, but... I'm still trying to see different people in this party, so she's out today. There we go. That was not too bad. But I'm still stuck on this puzzle, like, I got the blue battery, nothing happened. You repaired the damaged wire. Oh, now the blue battery will work. You put the battery in the slot. Now the door that I was getting trolled by, because it was like, oh, those are stairs. No, it's a door. Now the door are stairs. So I was right in my first try. I just doubted myself. They, they were stairs. Man, I really like this dungeon idea. This game does have some very cool ambience or like things they try to create uh, for like new environments or places. Those are mining bugs or something? A mech grab. 
It uses scavenge scrap for its shell. It's weak to ice and earth. And then 7,000 of HP. Oh yeah, we now have the hero and shield, so like we have probably new combo attacks. We have force field, it's the thin burst, absorbs in one hit. We have double team, it's a physical attack. And we have the land party. Party's program power. Oh, I see, so the other two... No, never mind, the other programs would be boost boosted, I guess. Out of those, the one that matters the most is this one, Double Team. Let's start with Knockout. They do have a good defense. Oh, let's try the DDO. Wait, DDOS. And then let's gain the Earth element as both of them are weak to Earth. I'll try heat up. Is Dave with lots of defense? What was that about? Only one of damage? In Dave? That makes no sense to me because Dave is like the glass party member that I have, right? Like any. Anything can destroy him. But not that attack? How's that? This uppercut will hurt. I wonder if I should use it on the other guy. I use it on, on him. Let's not, like underestimate the the two enemies or the team let's destroy the team so we can only focus on a single target yeah i knew that would hurt then let's use a faller shot Oh yes, I do have Inspire, but I think I'll use Drown. And then now we can go for Enviro Hack. Oh, it's healing, never mind. Huh. You can recharge then. Let's use Combo. Then second win. We can go final blow, right? Yeah, final blow. Then zap. And let's use... Ground slam is better for the next round. And then Finn goes for, let's see... Oh yeah, he has Void Bullet. This is fantastic. Yeah, Void Bullet is a very strong attack. You can recharge, Alyssa. And Dave, you go for System Crash. 
now I don't have the uppercut anymore, but I can go for something else. Maybe the ground slam. He's still alive. Let's go for burn. And then I think he's almost dead. There we go. I mean, these enemies are piece of cake. So even though the party is looking alright, as soon as I get a boss fight, I think I will struggle. But so far this party is not too bad. Especially because Dave does have a large variety of healing skills. He somehow has a good defense because he only got one from damage in that attack. Sue is a powerhouse. Finn is the one that's... Summer, do you know what Finn in... Wait, what Finn is in this party? I don't know. He's like, not a... Spe he's not a specialist. Finn is just Finn. He's feeling maybe a, a spot in my party or something. I also... I, I mean, if he could at least have... Faster... Faster hypers, like it takes five rounds or five turns for him to get to a hyper. If if he could be more normal, like having only three turns before a hyper, then I, I wouldn't be criticizing him that much. But even his hyper takes forever to happen. So I don't know. I do hope he gets better abilities uh, later, though, because if at, if at first I was thinking that Clark would be the weakest party member, and then he got amazing abilities and then you can kinda really get his health, Finn now is getting the spot of like, Finn, you need to show me what you can do, like, what is your deal, what are you up to? Even Dave is now a little bit better than you. Uh, it looks like a battery could go there, so I need a yellow battery and a blue battery, okay. Many doors are locked. There is a blue battery in here, or maybe... Oh, never mind, that's just a lamp. It's not a battery. Can I read this? I can't. This sounds like it's broken. Oh, the blue battery is down there, but am I going to kill the eggs by taking this? I just killed the eggs. Like the... Incubators? I hope that's the word. I'm lost. Did I hear some doors opening after I took that battery? Uh, let's go place that in the device. Uh, right there. I heard more doors opening. Is it this one? No? Um, oh, it's that one, right? This one? More eggs. Another computer that's not working. Maybe a yellow battery. Oh, there it is. I guess that's it. But then, are really all of the doors open now? Am I not missing anything? I was, you see? I found a flask. Oh, is that a weapon for... Okay, Arit was missing weapons. I couldn't buy weapons for her anywhere. It boosts her ice damage and damage against robotic enemies. That's fantastic. That's very good. Equip. 
Oh, they really ask me to change my my party for that. more. Maybe I'm missing another door somewhere. Or am I not? Hmm. Never mind, maybe it was just that chest. Have I been here? Oh, this is the entrance. Okay. Um, yeah, we are looking good, so let's continue. That's a new enemy. Are you any more... Dangerous than the rest? What are you exactly? It's like a robotic... Cymorex too, right? It is a Cymorex. Gaunt Cymorex. Weak to wind and fire. An evil spirit pretending to be a Cymorex. Oh, okay, it's a ghost. Um, let's see. This one is weak to ice and earth. Fire and... Wind, so Finn attacks that and Sue attacks the crab one, okay. But Dave is the fastest, so we are starting with Zap. Uh, let's go for Knockout. Sue, you are going to get Earth attacks. And then Finn, you are going to use Hira. Next, we can go for... No, I don't need to heal. Uh, you can do, let's see, DDoS, wait, DDoS. It failed. Let's go for Flood. Maybe counter? Let's try counter. And then shoot. Nice time for the counter. System crash. And pacifist. I got the wrong target. That's fine though, let's go for an uppercut. Who needs an uppercut? This guy. Is it because he's a ghost that my physical attack was not strong? Uppercut normally causes more damage. Uh, let's go for... Cobra Fire. Now, Dave, if he's not healing my party, then he needs to refresh. I will use Envirohack. Then let's go for... Inspire on Sue. And then we can go for... Combo. Wait a minute, the, the one that was weak to earth was the crab, wasn't it? And then fire is for that guy. I'm doing things wrong in here. But Finn will finally get to his hyper next turn, so I will save burn for that. I use this flawless shot now.
that was my counter. Now I think you can recharge. And Alyssa goes for a drown on this guy. Uh, so can use faint. And then hopefully we can kill him. Never mind. Fan is not strong enough, but maybe Dave. Maybe Dave can finish him. Finish him! Nice, there we go. Alisa, you are going to heal Fan. Sue, you go for Ground Slam. Nice damage, there we go. That's what I wanna see. And then I don't know what Finn can do. Maybe recharge? Zap. And recharge as well. Even Sue should recharge. Still, these enemies in here are chill. Either that, or I'm strong, or like... Too buffed. But I kinda don't wanna believe in my second option, because... Like I said, I think if I get a boss battle, I will struggle. More eggs in here... Okay, I can check this one, computer. The incubation pod system is offline. That's not fun. It's offline even with the battery right here? Man, I swear to God, I don't know who composed the soundtrack of this game. But I really hope that I end up playing more games by this game's composer, because he did such a good job on the soundtrack. And this... This is a really good retro wave -ish dungeon team. And speaking of retro wave, there is a game called Retro Wave on, on Steam. It is a racing game. I almost bought it. I almost bought it on the Steam Summer Sale. And I don't know if that game really... I think it does have like normal races uh, as a mode for it, but it's more about the experience and the distraction of playing it than, I don't know, really racing and aiming to be the first or something. When it gets a little bit higher on the discount, even though it was super cheap, but I'm like waiting for a higher discount still, I will totally get it, because it has some very good aesthetics to it, like the art style, and it seems it has a whole retro wave soundtrack as well. It, it looks a lot like a very good game for me to be playing on the weekdays. Uh, you hear a loud noise from the room to the east. You know, it's like a game that doesn't have an important plot, it looks very chill, so I, I will get that game for sure, Retro Wave. Uh, the primary hive systems are critical, eliminate threats and repair, prim and repair primary antenna systems. Are they saying that the problems, like the threats, are the bugs we are fighting? I was thinking they were the API or like some sort of dark spirits. Maybe the enemies really are those mechanical bugs, I guess. 
Also, regarding this floor, there is a chance that those computers are saying that the systems will be back to normal as soon as I eliminate the threats. The threats are these guys, so maybe it's a way of them saying beat all of the enemies and then you can progress. Alright. Now we have three of them, but I'm not scared still. I will start beating the Scorpion. It's the weakest. Uh, then Su can go for, let me see... Counter. Many enemies to attack me, probably they will hit Su, so... Counter on their faces. And then... Fan, my boy, that... I hope you'll show more service. Uh, you can go to cover fire, let's try cover fire. Can you disarm somebody? No one got disarmed. That's my counter strategy. That's my counter strategy. Only two of them. Okay, that's very good. And what about you, Dave? Now that you are a healer, what can you do? Let's go zap. Uh, zap the scorpion. Alisa floods the entire room with her water powers. Here, take a shower. Um, Alisa, you should like wash my face too so I can wake up a little bit. Let's go for... Wait, someone in here is weak to earth, right? That guy. Okay, so... Rock sol solid. Then next we go for... Mira. That's my counter. System crash on the Scorpion. I can't believe I'm kind of liking to have Dave in the party now. I was really expecting him to do a worse job. We can go Uppercut or we can go Ground Slam. Uppercut can get rid of this, right? Let's get rid of it. Never mind, it resisted. Maybe Flawless Shot? Flawless Shot actually causes a lot of damage. It's probably one of the best attacks Finn has besides the Void Bullet. But it's crazy that I would expect less damage from it, because it says that it has double damage when the enemy has full HP. But I never get to use it when the enemies have full HP, so... Maybe it's because Fen does have good attacks. I'm the one that's messing with them, like I'm not using the best or getting them right. Because otherwise Fen could cause like a thousand five hundred damage. Actually, more than that, because it was 900 damage, right? So actually, 1,800. That's not bad at all. I will see if I can get a moment or an opportunity for Finn to use that attack with, like, its full power, right? Uh, then let's see, let's go combo. Maybe we can get back one of our abilities. Hopefully, it's the... Uh, counter. Go for shoot. And then maybe now we can heal Dave.
Yes, I was wondering. What? How did not the pacifist smash not kill that? That's why there was a clutch enemy in this hive. Bye now, though. You, you really tried, mechanical crab. But not today. Let's burn the other insect. Then zap it. And wash it. And punch it. And it's still alive. Bugs are for real. Uh, what is the word? Pests, right? Bugs are for real pests. That was a lot of damage on fan. Knockout. Then let's go for uppercut. Holy cow, the freaking knockout prepared him for the perfect uppercut. There we go. Has this changed? Rip okay, I also need to repair the primary antenna systems. Where are those? I need another battery for this. That's where I came from. Hmm. Wait, that's another path? Wait a minute. Am I really not missing anything else in here? What? Do I need to backtrack? I mean, now I will proceed, but... I need to return here, right? Can I backtrack? I can. Yes, I'll need to return. Wait, this is... This is locked? Oh, it's not a door. It looked like a door. Uh, now we have a different body formation for this but in this game I don't think it makes difference it's not like in Final Fantasy 6 uh, knockout then rock solid get up DDOS Flood. Uh, these scorpions are much better to deal with than the crabs, right? The crabs have a lot of defense and HP. These guys are chill. Cobra Fire. One of damage. Maybe it was the disarm that helped Dave to not get a lot of damage. System crash. Pacifist smash. And uppercut on the other guy. There is something about this place that also reminds me a little bit of Xenogears. Uh, there was uh, an underground technological city in Xenogears 2, right? I'm getting flashbacks of that. We even met, or we have met, a very important character in that underground city that I forgot his name, but he was like major uh, in that game. I just won't enter on more details because maybe I will be entering on spoilers big spoilers but yes we have that a very important character in that place 
I forgot his name. Uh, fall a shot. Uh, let's re recharge. Drown. Faint. And burn. Sabre is saying there used to be two technological cities in, Xen in Xenogears, but I suppose you are referring to the one that has the villains. Uh, there is this one scene that has a long bridge, either a bridge or like a very horizontal path. And then on the background of it, there was the technological city. It was on that bridge or on that path that one of the most remarkable scenes of Xenogears happened because that's where we found this one character that fought us and then I don't remember if the real plot twist happened in there I think it haven't or it hasn't but yeah that's where I really remember that one character that I forgot his name and that's where I think he attacked us, in a crazy horizontal path that could have been a bridge. Yeah, that's what my memory is telling me. I don't remember which one was... Oh, wait, do you mean by other technological city, the one in the sky? No, it was not that. The one after the Tower of Babel? No. Or Babel's Tower, right? I'm talking about an underground place, one that was very hard to get to, but not by climbing the tower. That's probably the antenna, isn't it? What was that guy's name though? I forgot. Yeah, it's not the sky one. There was the one they were making ground ground beef. I for wait ground beef. Was it in Zeno? It was in Zeno Gears. That's true. Oh yeah, I forgot that was in that game. Yeah, you were talking about the Soylent Greens city, right? Yeah. I forgot about that city. I'm not talking about any of those, actually. No. I think the one city we're talking about is Solaris, if I'm not mistaken. It's not Solaris, and it's also not the other city that's like atop of Tower of Babel or Babel's Tower. That has my favorite music in Xenogears. I love that music so much, but it's not it. I'm talking about an underground city, something that we entered caverns. Uh, to reach it. It was like a forgotten, ruined, ancient city. And then in there, that was all deserted, the villain or like this character showed up. He used to wear a mask maybe? Oh yeah, it's that guy, isn't it? The one that has the mask. And he kept the whole game provoking us. It is that villain, I'm remembering him now. He had like, he had like a white mask. Groff. Wait, not Groff. Groff is in this game. But I think his name starts with G now. GR something. Anyway, maybe I'm completely mistaken, but I, I think I'm starting to remember that villain. Uh, DDoS. If it is really that one villain, I was mistaken because we didn't meet him in there. But there was a big fight in that place. We who? What happened, Emily? Welcome back. Uh, are you celebrating for something good news that happened? Oh, those are very cute emotes right there. The Pride Love. Uh, 
Uh, they are weak to fire and wind. I only have fire. Emily, are you still traveling, by the way? Oh, you're just being not? That's okay. I kind of wish you could have some good news, though. Uh, let's see. Burn. Oh, by the way, Emily, you were talking about a certain anime on Discord that you have watched with a friend. Let me remember what was the name of that anime. But Gabriel and Sir Taki agreed with you that the anime was great. So, you guys made me curious. I haven't heard of that anime before. Should I go watch it too? It's called... Chobits. I haven't heard of Chobits before. And by the way, Emily, this was in my... Uh, in the anime event I went, right? Let me change the camera quickly. Uh, I took this picture on the anime event I went, and then there were some cosplayers. The quality right now is bad, so you guys probably can't see things because this camera doesn't focus. But there is someone in the... Right there, the one of the black dress. She's like cosplaying Enya. Uh, Enya Forger from Spy Family. Emily was asking me, like, who's that character, right? She's Anya Forger. She's like a child, just a kid. And she's like one of the best characters of the animes of this last season. And the anime she's part of is Spy Family. Spy Family was probably the most popular anime of the last season. So, Emily, if you haven't watched Spy Family, I do recommend it to you. Everybody liked Spy Family. Like, I can't think of any single person that... Uh, said that, oh, I didn't like Spy Family. Because Spy Family has a lot of qualities. Uh, it's very well animated, the soundtrack is good, the characters, especially that kid, are very lovable, or very charming. I mean, I say lovable, they're way. Because the, the, they have, let's say, dark jobs, especially like the father of this family and the mother of this family. But this kid in particular, Anya, she is super lovable. Uh, it, it's impossible for someone to like not like her. So yeah, I think you would like that anime, for sure. Uh, it, it is uh, easy to get into it, like, it, it is very entertaining. Although the one you were talking about, Chobits, I haven't heard of it, should I check it out? So you were supposed to go to the beach uh, this week, but your friends couldn't go? Emily, you should go alone. Like, let's freaking go, you know? Uh, I have been struggling to, like, have company to go out as well, but I go there regardless, and then sometimes somebody shows up and makes me company, or I listen to music, connect to nature, and then I enjoy that. You love to a bit? Okay. I will actually get it on my app. So I don't forget to check it out. I also need to watch the other anime that Gabriel was recommending me, which was called To Your Eternity. I also need to watch that. Oh, look at that. Spy Family is right here. Uh, the second uh, option in here in my app. This other anime, Summertime Rendering, is probably my favorite anime of this season. But then Summertime Rendering is more serious. And let's say heavier as well it also has some graphical scenes so i'm not sure if emily would like it but summertime rendering has a very interesting plot and confusing and crazy plot too so that's why i'm intrigued and curious about it my friend was also telling me that this other enemy called ruby and i think subaru has told me about ruby before although unfortunately my freaking phone can't get focused but a friend of mine, Subaru, was telling me about Ruby. Wasn't you that told me about Ruby, that I should watch it or something? Yeah, my friend liked Ruby too. But let me go after Chobits. No, not Chobots. Uh, Chobits. 
It's right here. Oh, it looks... It looks very cute. There are 24 episodes? Okay. I just added to my watch list. I will see when I can get to it. Now that Kombi Can't Communicate is over, and also Paripi Komei or Ya Boy Kongbin, maybe I could watch show bits for like my, you know, non-stressful anime option. Because it looks like a romance or something. Uh, you loved it? You have been thinking about watching it. Do watch Spy Family, yeah. The first season is over. It is over, but the second part of it is out in October. Yeah, so it's not going to be a very long break for Spy Family. I'm pretty sure you like uh, you like the show, Emily. Like, not a single person will say bad things about it. I mean, never mind. There are some crazy people that are overreacting regarding some scenes of the show, but like they are crazy. Don't don't listen to them. Uh, I have no idea how they could get to like such a fertile imagination and think about wrong things where there isn't something wrong, basically. But besides those people that are, I don't know, shitters in their heads, the anime won't get anybody complaining about it because it's very good. So somebody's saying that Ruby Volume 9 is out in the beginning of next year? What was Ruby about? Is it an action, drama, mystery? What is this story about? Try to convince me to also check this out because my friend liked it. Uh, let me go back to to the overlay. Emily, in case you do start watching Spy Family, uh, let me know later or like in the future, what are your thoughts about it? I always say that I will start watching or returning to the animes I have started, for example, Classroom of the Elite, Higura Higurashi no Naku, right? And then it starts Demon Slayer, but I have been still busy, so I still couldn't go back to those shows. But again, let's see how it goes this next week. I hope that at the very least I can finish watching uh, Classroom of the Elite, because I was close to end the first season. So Subri is saying that Ruby is action and fantasy. Although he thinks he's not the best to classify it. I mean, you can kind of use your gaming knowledge to like uh, get the genres of games and then you know, oh, it's like action and fantasy because comparing it to games, it sounds a little bit like action games or fantasy games, you know? I know you don't watch many animes, but you can compare it to either movies or games, right? Uh, this was the first time that Dave almost died. Uh, you were saying Volume 9 will be out. But is the anime that long? I'm guessing, like... The anime or one season of the anime will get many volumes from the manga. Something else that I also want to go back is the third season of Control Z. But again, I don't think I would recommend Control Z, the series, because it has its problems. But it's my current bad show that I like watching, so sometimes you gotta deal with them, right? We know it's bad or like not perfect, but we still wanna watch them regardless.
instead of speaking about seasons, it is a volume. And instead of talking about episodes, they have chapters. So it's really like a book. Uh, the way this series, Ruby, communicates. That sounds actually like Komi. Uh, like the episodes of Komi-san, Komi Can't Communicate. They have many short stories in a single episode, right? Just like chapters, like you said. Sometimes they are connected and most of times actually they are not connected. I could kill that guy or heal. You know what? I'm healing because... Alisa is next, so Alisa could beat the guy or the enemy. I'm healing everyone. Let's go for Envirohack. It has references to fairy tales, but not like the Disney fairy tales and some other short stories. Originally speaking, fairy tales are dark stories, right? And honestly speaking, even the Disney makeup on them doesn't hide that many of the fairy tales by Disney are also dark. You really like the, the soundtrack? I mean, never mind, you were saying that you always thought the soundtrack was a lot and then you didn't say what. But I'm guessing something good? Or do you mean something bad? Uh, let's heal Dave. Okay, something good. There we go. So we really like the soundtrack. That's fine, man. But I imagined or assumed you were going to compliment it. Uh, pacifist smash. There is this anime that I kind of speak about it only a few times. And I'm still waiting for somebody else to pick it, to watch it, and to tell me what they thought about it. It is a mystery anime called Odd Taxi. It is a somewhat slow show. Uh, if you are watching it while you are sleepy, you are probably going to sleep. It does have a very slow rhythm. But the mystery it's about has a very shocking, surprising, mind-blowing answer in the end, right? So the show is worth for that, even though it could be better or like it could have a better flow. But the fans of the show say that they love that show regardless because like mystery shows normally are somewhat slow going, right? But yeah, this one anime Odd Taxi it does have an ending that the creators were very bold to give us that ending and it's really something i hope that someday i don't know maybe yoda uh, because yoda likes to get my recommendations of animes to check and i could see yoda liking that show too or my in real life friend because I also tell him to like check this out. I'm very curious to see somebody else talking to me about their reactions of this ending of Odd Taxi. Because it is really surprising. You know what? Maybe this one in real life friend that I just said, he told me that they are planning to have a second season of Odd Taxi. I kinda cannot imagine how they would do that. Or I'm scared of this second season making the show worse. I think the ending of the first season is like brilliant. So like stop it in there. I can see them continuing, of course, but I would rather not uh, continue it. So, just like what I said last time, 
Ruby has started with a low budget, so season one of it has a so so ish animation. Although in every season from there, it gets better, or it gets better animated. Hmm, how many seasons are there already? Is it very long? I was so sad that most of people that were cosplaying today, I could not get the shows they were from, right? Especially the people that spoke to me for my Haikyuu shirt or jersey. They were like, I liked your jersey. And I'm like, I liked your cosplay too, but I don't know what is it. <laughs> and the only one that I was like, oh, by the way, besides the Enya, right? The Enya that I showed in that picture. And then I told Emily the character from Spy Family. Yes, that one I recognize. And actually there were two. Uh, two people went to the event with that uh, cosplay idea. But the one uh, cosplay that I thought that I recognized, and I said, Oh my god, you are freaking Ares from Final Fantasy VII? And then the person was like, Who is that? I'm actually this one fighter from the King of Fighters. I, I kind of wish I could find this fighter now. She really went there with like, white clothes, and a red detail on her uh, neck and the flower basket. So I'm like, you are Ares. <laughs> and then she was not Ares, rip me, right? She's from King of Fighters. I know the game, but I don't know the characters. Let me see if I can find that character in here. And then I can now see if she was any close to Ares or not. Uh, King of Fighters flower. Is that a good reference? Uh, it was not this... No, it's not this woman. It's, it's not this woman. it be her? I don't think it's her, because this woman, there is a character called King, uh, in the King, in the King of Fighters, that, like, has a rose, no, she had a flower basket. So it's not her. Am I really mistaken? I, I couldn't find anybody. I could swear it was a character from the, the King of Fighters that she was saying. I could be wrong though, but I was sad she was not Ares. Um, and then Subra said the ninth volume it will be out next year. And it's going to be the first time they are taking forever to release the show or the new season. Probably thanks to COVID and thanks to the decisions they need to make. Especially because the original creator died or has passed away a few days or like not much time before the third volume was released. So the studio and the other members of the team, they continued the show the best they could do it, or like, they tried to follow the steps from the creator, right, that passed away. And Subra thinks they did a good job, besides people complaining. Uh, the problem is that, with time, uh, like, beside, uh, the problem is that even though they got better by creating the show with time, there was a gap in their creativity for the fights, and the original creator was actually fantastic in like writing or creating the fight ideas, not like the other team members. So basically the fights are not that great today, right? And then maybe that's getting people upset. 
that's why even though in the first volume the animation is not that great um, because the creator worked in the animation by himself or like alone his specialty was creating the fights not necessarily animating the show and then his fights were very great I see so it is a show about fights fights and fantasy oh maybe those fights is the action part you said I see the conveyor system currently offline you know another place in games that this is remind me of Chrono Cross, that tower that you ha we, we have the meeting with Lynx. And then, if I'm not mistaken, there is a, a room in there where we meet Draggy. Was, was his name Draggy? I hope his name was Draggy. And it's like this, like his egg was there hatching and then we get him to our party. Yeah, this place also reminds me of that Chrono Cross tower as well draconia tower it's something like that uh, the fights are good and they learned with it with time and it got better but you can still think or feel that something is missing after the creator passed away the ruby's creator passed away yeah, they won't be able to copy uh, his his mind, pretty much. But I'm kind of surprised to hear from you that the team members were able to really do a good job, overall speaking. Uh, because most of times, when the creator passes away and then like another people or other people needs wait, when other people need to continue something. Like, they normally disappoint a lot. This area looks suspicious, but there is nothing in here. More doors, but I... I still have business to do in the last room now I have another problem in this room wait what I'm back to the entrance I just did a whole loop or a full loop in here Oh, that's the conveyor they were talking about. Uh, Sabre is going to post on Discord the official link to the four first trailers that happened before Volume 1. And then he's going to post Volume 1 as well, if, if, you, if I want. I mean, sure, uh, post it in there. But I think that my friend... Uh, this new anime, Subaru, that is like being released like this new ruby season that's being released is it a remake from volume one or is it a continuation because my friend watched it and i kind of I, I, of course i don't know but i assumed that it was like a remake or it was something that was starting the story there instead of continuing something he spoke to me about it in a way that it felt like, oh, I have never watched Ruby before, but I'm understanding everything and I love this. That's how I felt it. So I'm not sure, but it's probably the continuation, not a remake, right? So I have problems in the antenna and in the conveyor system. What am 
am I missing now? Let's go to the center again. Oh. Have I? Have I done something good in here? Okay. I guess those will fall to the conveyor part. Never mind, so... Oh, okay. Uh, they are in one of the tiny rooms, right? Or actually this room. There, there we go. What's this? A captain badge. This, ac this accessory for Finn gives him defense stance at the beginning of the battle. And the yellow battery. Nice. It gives him safe. The title is merely honorary. Don't worry, Finn. You will work your way up the ranks and get to become a captain. Captain Planet. He's a hero. And then somebody saying uh, there was a ruby ice quimdom which is like the three first episodes is like a remake from season one but it's like missing a lot of details or parts from the story including fights and then for that Subaru didn't like this remake that much maybe that's what my friend watched actually it looks like they decided to or they were planning to have the whole season remade just because they didn't like how the story or the plot went for some of the characters in the past. So they kind of decided to change the plot. Okay, I can say already that fans will not like that. Change the plot is something you should, you should not change. That yellow battery is for this, right? A loud noise from the room to the east. Okay, let's go right. Maybe it's the conveyor now. The conveyor could be operating. Isn't it? No, it's still offline. What else was this that could be important? It's because there is a different studio that worked on this remake, a Japanese studio. And you know how people are annoying or buggy with things sometimes. People are like, I would have made that scene differently, I would have done it differently, or you know. Oh! How have I never been here? Honestly, those ghost enemies are somewhat strong. They are the ones that almost kill Dave. So I will start with them. They were weak to what again? Fire and wind. Would you say, Saburo, that Ruby is like your favorite anime? Haven't 
once you watch Sensei as well, by the way, I forgot to mention this. I mean, this anime event, they had a band that was invited to play there. And the band was very good. Although, the acoustic of the room where they were performing sucked. Plus, they had a very extra loud, I don't know, instrumental for the concert. So everybody was like, you know, because it was super loud and the distortion of the noise, the sound, the music was weird. That bothered me, but it bothered more other people. So I ended up like, okay, this is what it is, so let's enjoy the concert regardless. But other people really got like, I, I'm getting deaf, like I can't hear anything anymore. It was a very bad, like, I don't know who was responsible for the sound system in that place, but they could have adjusted things better, you know? But regardless of that, like the bad sound quality, I had a lot of fun screaming all of those freaking anime banger openings. And they played all of the ones that I like, Sensei, Dragon Ball, Yu Yu Hakusho, Inuyasha, Digimon. I was there singing every single thing in freaking Portuguese. I was like, I don't care. Like, if thanks to this loud uh, music that's being played right now and then bad acoustic, if like, if people can or cannot hear my voice, but I'm here screaming or whatever because I like the song, I love the song, I, uh, the band is good, just the sound mix was bad. So I had a lot of fun, I was there screaming while playing video game as well, because there was also a, a karaoke booth uh, close to the video game section, so people sometimes were there requesting Dragon Ball, Sensei, uh, Inuyasha, Digimon, I was there singing while playing Smash Brothers Brawl, I was also playing Smash Brothers Brawl, and Mario Kart 8, so I was super happy singing today. Did I know all of the lyrics? Of course not. If you are a regular in this channel, you might know I do not remember lyrics, but I gave it my best. So, I, I really was like, I don't care, you know, I'm not going to be embarrassed right now. I will sing the shit of this song because I, I was in a happy day, so... Let's just scream out loud and whatever. Also, because overall speaking, it was a very empty event. Uh, it didn't get many people. I think they could have promoted that event more, uh, so more people could be heading there. But also, there is the Anime Friends happening in Sao Paulo right now. We were talking a little bit about Anime Friends yesterday, during the Ahead in Time stream. And Anime Friends is like the biggest anime event in Brazil. So, some people will travel to Sao Paulo just to head to it. So I think some people could have traveled this weekend, but honestly, I, I believe the biggest flaw was not marketing the event more, right? But honestly, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, I, pref I preferred it that way. I had comfort, like, I could play my games, and I could interact with some people still. It was easier to talk to them more than in the other event that was more crowded, loud and confusing. The one in August that I'm also going will be back to the same place uh, than the previous one that I went. So it's going to be loud, crowd, full of things co combined and together and gathered. So, oh, you wanna, you wanna play video games, but it's next to the medieval area, that's next to the karaoke booth, that's next to, I don't know, the the the... the the sellers, the people that are there selling, or it's next to the maid cafe, or it's next to... Everything was so close to, to, to each other. There was even a RPG section too, where people were playing an RPG. So it was a big mess. And then this next one, they will also bring some Japanese celebration stands and culture. So it's more for them to have in the in the same spot, right? In the same area. So I think it's even going to be more cramped. I hope that's the word in English. 
but that's fine. I, if I can at least head there this time without feeling sick, because the previous time I went there even though I was sick, I will still have a good time. And the people that played Mario Kart with me today, I was telling them like, I see you in the next uh, anime event for more Mario Kart 8. And then they were like, yes, let's do it, you know? So we are going to play more Mario Kart next time. I also remembered something else. Uh, this will sound funny though. It's just uh, it's just something that I noticed that does happen to me quite often. Not every time, but quite often. So, let me tell you a story. When I went to the Video Games Live in Rio, Video Games Live is a concert where this bunch of musicians, this orchestra actually, will cover many video game songs. And this orchestra is famous, they're big, like they go and travel around all the world. For example, Scapuni has been to the same orchestra in the US, right? But when they were in Rio, I was able to go to two of their concerts, but in the first one, they had like a contest, a Guitar Hero contest, wait, contest. And by the end of like the competition, they were going to have a raffle going, or like they would pick a winner to win a Guitar Hero set. The place was all full and crowded, so like many people were there. And I was, I, I kind of went there alone, so I was uh, sharing the table that I was sitting at with a couple. Like, I didn't know those people, but we kind of, you know, said goodnight and hi and how are you and everything. And then, during the raffle, guess who won the prize? The people that were sitting with me. So I went back home thinking, oh my god, I, I felt like I was an amulet, you know? <laughs> it's so it's such a strange feeling. And then today in this anime event, there was also a raffle. And then there was the guy that I met in the previous event that I re-encountered today. And when they were going to have the raffle picked, I told him, in case you win, I will tell you something after that. Guess what? He won? And not only him. These people that I said that I would be f racing against again in the freaking next event for Mario Kart 8 won as well. So basically, three people that made the company won the prizes. Although, sadly, the prizes were a big disappointment. It was a cup, a magazine, and a bracelet. I, I believe those were the prizes only. I was expecting something bigger, like it's a headset gamer. Because they were promoting it as like a big award. A magazine, a cup, and a bracelet. But the cup was quite beautiful though. I, I was underestimating that cup. But what I'm trying to say is that I'm an amulet. And it's such a weird feeling. Just to complete this story, because there is also this that happened, when I was taking the bus back home after I bought my Burger King, I was in the bus, but all of the seats were taken, so I was like, oh, right, I was standing still. But I went to the back of the bus, near a woman that had a lot of bags and things she was carrying, when suddenly she kind of asked me, is this money yours or something? Because she found money. And I was like, oh no, it's not mine. Uh, as you found it, like you should keep it. So I'm like, this woman also found money next to me. So I'm like, I'm really an amulet. Or at least today I had, or I lived, uh, the entire amulet day. I was bringing luck to everyone. Could this be related to the freaking bird that pooped me on Friday? Maybe this is all connected, that, that's it, everything is connected. The bird gave me his luck via poop, and then I kinda had a somewhat lucky Saturday. It was not a very bad day. Today was also a fantastic day, but maybe the bird poop raised my amulet skills 
and then I, you know, everyone next to me was getting prizes, basically. By the way, I'm dying. <laughs> Maybe my luck is running out right now. But funny story for you, have you guys ever felt like an amulet before? Because this is... Maybe the second time this happened, but I don't know, it's such a coincidence. And I was kind of predicting that could happen, hence why I told the friend, like, in case you win, I will have something to tell you. And then he won. And he was even saying that he didn't, win, he didn't want to win because he was shy to go to the stage to pick the prize. He went there anyway. With, like, people with microphones and everything, taking pictures of him. Have you ever felt like that? That you are an amulet? Like everyone around you gets something? It's funny that uh, how that works, right? But overall speaking, I am a somewhat lucky person. I mean, not like the luckiest, but I did have some lucky moments in my life. Yeah, my mom even says that. Let me check the chat. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't heard it right. Ruby is what? Now I don't remember, I told you a whole story, um, I really don't remember what I said about Ruby anymore. So we're saying the pandemic continues, but for people to avoid the agglomeration they don't. Well, I went there with my mask, like you saw I have my alcohol, and I brought my dinner to home so I could eat at home, right? So yes, I was at least trying to protect myself. But you are right, not everyone wore wearing masks, actually only a few people. Um, but for example, this one artist, the one that I bought the art, he was wearing masks, so another point for him. Should it be your luck? I know, but I do have this amulet skill. Uh, since that day in the video games live that the people that were sitting next to me in like a super crowded stage how, What are the odds, you know? They want the freaking guitar hero next to me like right in my face Since that day I started paying attention to that. Am I an amulet? Do I bring luck to people or something? And then I, I think the, the bird poop um, Increased my lucky abilities if I were like a RPG character, for example. And then my specialty is to bring luck to people, like bring luck to whoever is next to me, whoever is sitting next to me. In this case, it was to the guy that was next to me and the couple that played Mario Kart with me earlier. Actually, they were the last people that I played Mario Kart and we were talking about the, the raffle. They were actually very curious. Have they gotten the winner? Uh, has it already happened? And then they both won, it was not just one person, the, the, the two of them won, and the friend next to me. You know, so I felt like, man, my special ability of being an amulet is on fire today, and maybe it's because of the bird poop. This actually deserves, and this is actually something that I should bring more often, because I don't know why I forget to bring this closer to me, but give me a second. I have been forgetting to have my emotes closer to me. I need this right now. I have a theory that Bird Poop unlocked all of my luck abilities. I also did get somewhat lucky myself, but like I said, my specialty is to be an amulet. I have realized that. It's so crazy, man. I haven't interacted with lots of people today, but... Three out of the people that I have interacted won the prize. And they had, I don't know, four or five picks. But after seeing that the prize was just a magazine and a cup, I'm like, ah, I'm fine. Oh, I healed the wrong person. Um, you know what? Let's hide him. That was defense up, that's not to hide him. Um, I don't have Dave, so I think I... No, that's for him. 
Use the potion on Sue. Then he can't attack. Summer, I think I'll need to get some more water soon. Yes, I'll go there and get some water. Let me just finish this battle and then I'll go there. It's been forever since I drank that whole bottle, but not only that water is very good today, but also because I ate the burgers, right? So savory meals make me thirsty. Let's go for the final blow. Then faint. Yeah, Saburo, I'll need to go get more water. Um, uh, recharge. Everyone go went for a fan this time. Uh, recharge as well. Recharge as well. And then Sue can attack. Let's go for counter. And then cover fire. Fin. Uh, Subra is thinking it's strange that he can't find the video or the official video that has the complete volume 1 of Ruby. Uh, he remembers it used to be there. Speaking on videos on YouTube, um, I played Elite Beat Agents on stream two times from uh, by now, right? Or like until now. And on Twitch, I did not get the DMCA. But on YouTube, they did get the, or at least some songs uh, were identified with DMCA, but they did not flag me. So basically, I can have the videos there, but I cannot make profits out of them. Which, by the way, my YouTube channel like. It's not monetized, so like, I can't get profit from there. Although, th those videos from the Little Bit Agents on YouTube that have the songs identified and like, copyrighted, uh, they can run ads for whoever stops by them. That those ads will go like, for the copyright owners, right? That's fine by me. Uh, I did not get like striked uh, on YouTube and my videos are public so that's that's fine but just out of curiosity they did identify some songs right actually a good amount of songs not all but a good amount and they had there like the copyrights for them but again they allowed me to have the videos public or public without bigger complaints, so everything is fine, even though there was that situation. And then hopefully, if I feel re-energized, I can try beating that game tomorrow. Will I do it? I don't think so, but I will try it. I really got close uh, to beat it last time. At least in one run. Yeah, as long as I don't get striped, that's fine. They were just saying, oh, you can have this video up, but the... What is the word? Renovue? I know, I, I, I can't remember that word. 
the income from those videos will just go to the copyright owners and that's fair, so fine by me. On Twitch, nothing happened. Like, on the VODs. Yeah, so we're in the end, I gotta say, this is a good party too. I underestimated these guys. I'm now wondering if this party could have been better if I swap Finn for Clark. And I'm still like, what was this place? Oh. That's where it was? I completely missed that area, huh? Oh yeah, let me get more water, right? There we go. Also, Saburo, little by little I am getting used to like having those earbuds. Headphones, I think they are uncomfortable, but these earbuds are fine. One thing that I that I may try buying or getting at some point are those Bluetooth earbuds. They are surprisingly not expensive. Although I have heard about people that lose them, like in the streets, like out of nowhere they dropped from their ears and then, I don't know, in the middle of the streets madness, they ended up losing their Bluetooth earbuds. But I think I will buy some to, to just, I don't know, test them out. You also prefer earbuds? Yeah, I don't like headphones. And we're saying that they normally break fast. I just don't think they are comfortable. They use a lot of space of my head, you know? I. I don't like it. Is this the antenna system? Danger. Significant threat detected in primary antenna room. That's... Psyb, isn't it? Maybe that's the antenna room? Am I ready for this though? Just to be sure that I have checked everything. Um... 
Okay. Yeah, there is also this conveyor system. It is offline still. I got two more places, but the antenna area and the conveyor area are both offline. But I can only proceed there, right? Yes, I guess I have no choice. Wait, I... Well, I just got to a door that I can't backtrack, huh? You know what? Let me save the game. I, I think I will just proceed then. Probably there is something to the conveyor belt, but I could not figure that. Hopefully the next room is the antenna area and won't uh, like finish this area without answering the remaining questions that I have. Normally this game will pretty much develop the plot and put me out of this place and then I will never be able to return here. But I don't think I have another option, do I? Yeah, if I go straight ahead, it's not there. I can only go there. So we'll post the video on Discord of the volume 1 of Ruby, it's not the official. The official one had some more scenes that were only in the DVD. Do you mean it's the whole episode? It's not a trailer? So, can I do this and still explore? This tower or this hive, please? Or are we meeting Poseidon and that's it? I think we are meeting Poseidon. I don't feel so well. That sounds dangerous or bad. Oh. Hello? What? <laughs> I, I, I guess we just went through a door, right? But we did not see the door. This is not imagination. This is not a dream. This is not like... Laguna train. Oh, by the way, there was an enemy. I, I don't remember which enemy was it, but I laughed so hard because there was somebody in the enemy saying, I like trains. And then I was like, oh my god, this is such a reference to freaking Selfie from Final Fantasy VIII. So one of these days I was remembering self is like, I like trains, <laughs> and I laughed so hard. Oh my god, Final Fantasy VIII was such a silly game. What the heck is going on in here, Alyssa? Is this one of your traumas from the past? Give in. Or maybe this is the telepathic thing they were all talking about that the Cymarex can do, right? They are speaking to Alyssa's brain. And that's bad because what if they are speaking to her brain with the Lumina device that's a brain washer? Not good news! 
Not good news. Give in. Is that director still trying to get the Lumen advice? Humanity is nothing but a foolish concept. Those were strong words. We can become so much more. <laughs> Who's that though? I have the feeling we are inside of Alyssa's brain. Maybe those are voices in her mind. Also, what the heck is that sky right there? This is also giving me some earthbound feelings. Earthbound is also about... Um, like... Noise... To creatures' brains. Like animals, even objects. But like people too. It is about this, like... Interference into somebody's waves le wavelengths. What is going on, Alisa? I do think this is her speaking to her. Isn't this a beautiful sight? Why not stay here? Okay, I was sleeping earlier, but now this plot is like, wake up, freaking player, because we have big shit incoming. Okay, okay, so it is something in her brain. No, this is not real. This is an illusion. How amusing. I think this is Psy talking to us, actually. And testing us. And, I don't know, training us for something. This is a test. This is maybe like that movie. Um, how is that movie called? Divergent? Hopefully that's how it's called in English. How amusing, most humans don't see past the evidence of their eyes, no matter. Yeah, don't believe in your eyes every time. Silver so post the four traders and the first volume. That was like a reference to selfie for sure, right? The only character ever that says, I love trains. <laughs> oh, selfie. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I think I remember now where I saw that reference. In the last Nintendo Direct, the one with the partner showcase, during those quick trailers, they had a railroad builder simulator game. And then for some reason, when I was watching uh, a reaction to that video, or to that Direct, the YouTuber that was reacting to it said that he kind of liked uh, those train simulator games. And then someone in the comments said that, like, I like trains. And then everybody was like loving that comment. And I laughed so much because I got the reference. Yes, that's how I got to Selfie uh, recently. You two will succumb. I was thinking you could have been a party member. Do not kill us. Join us. Or should we join the dark side of the moon? Hi, what the heck? You are not Psy. That's the nightmare. It is weak to fire, ice, and wind for some reason. If you die in the dream, you die in real life. Are you some sort of Freddy Krueger? But sure, let's now really see if this party is any promising, because this is the real test. So let me see what they can do. We, at least we have resurrection skills. I will start this up with... I will try this, but I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, I'm not surprised. 
Let's start with knockout. I will use. Oh, never mind. Uh, it's Alice's attack. I will use the dual attack that she boosts all of the programs. Because then when I'm using the healing programs, maybe they will be better. Um, let's go and use... No, you don't need to go rock solid for this. Let's just punch. With our Sonic and Knuckles. Then Cobra Fire, Disarm. Oh, Void Bullet can be good. Oh, just shoot. This is just a warming up. Style down. Man, Dave's defenses are something good right now. I I could never imagine this day coming. You never see it coming. And then I forgot the rest. Uh, zap, I guess. Okay. Oh, but it's her. It's her hyper. No, I will save it for another turn. Let's go drown. Then I can try the counter, but I'm not sure if he's going to attack Sue that much. Then he's weak to fire, right? So take that. Oh, never mind, the counter is doing something. System crash. And then Alyssa goes for what I wanted her to do, which is... Land party. You know what would be great? If the land party could refresh all of the programs, because... Then I would be able to use them again, right? That would have been great. So, let's go for ground... No, uppercut. I was expecting more damage. I think it's because he's a ghost. So, physical attacks are somewhat weak against ghosts. Just like in Pokemon. Let's try hit up. Now Dave got hurt. What if Dave has some sort of first attack defense, you know, some sort of a special ability that gives him extra defense for first hit? Maybe that's what's going on with him. Now we gotta heal everyone. By the way, what is the effect? Is it still a healing for the Envirohack, even though it's a nightmare? It is. Okay. Then... Pacifist Smash and I will try Combo. Flawless Shot. Um, you can heal him, yeah, why not? go flood or I can go final blow oh, you know what let's try double team although it's physical like I just said it won't cause a lot of damage but I at least use Dave's program booster special right so maybe it's going to be good that was very good yes worth it let's go for faint That disarming is very helpful. And then cover fire. Unfortunately, the Finn doesn't have strong attacks. And he's the one that has the element that this monster is weak to, so that's sad. Now we can go for buffer zone. Let's try that. Oh, it's for a single target. Use that on yourself.
And then Alyssa can use the final blow. So we can go for a ground slam. Not even his elemental attack was strong. Uh, refresh. You can also refresh. And Alyssa will use Inspire on herself. So next turn she can do a fantastic flood. And then I think I will refresh you too. Self buff, let me try that. He killed Dave! There goes my strategy. He is not dying, right? Oh my god. Yeah, this is not good, guys. <sighs> Strong defend and recharge abilities. I do have the Void Bullet, but... It was seriously a strong defend, I appreciate that. Heal him now, Alisa, you are now the healer. But I don't think I will win this anymore. After killing Dave... That's the Dave we all know and love! Come on, you can admit that, right, Subaru? That's the Dave we, we we expect being Dave. I, I was saying like, oh Finn, you are now the least important character. Finn is like, hold my beer, wait for the boss fight where the truth will be revealed. Just before your eyes, just when you least expect it. Ah, Dave. More like Dive, right? <laughs> or Dev? It could be Dev too. Yeah, like, uh, Subaru had the same brain brain wave than me. Maybe it's because this game is all going brain craziness. I was kind of thinking on Zid Dad as well, but I was trying to turn Dave as Dad, right? Dev. That was so bad because he kind of starts the, the battle with good defense and then suddenly, oops, I'm dead. Also, by the way, I'm noticing that Finn has that very slow beginning for his hypers, but after the first long hyper, he gets super fast on the hypers. But still, he's not strong, but he has one strong move, or actually two. He has this. And the Void Bullet, so Void Bullet him now! Very strong, you see? But we may die! Right now I will refresh. It also heals them a little bit, but not a lot. But they can hide themselves, right? Don't you have something to hide people? He doesn't have that anymore, unless it is a program. But it's only one use. Wait, never mind, it is reusable, thank goodness. Use that on Finn. And Finn will hide you. Okay, so I forced the boss to fight Alyssa, and Alyssa was recharging, so she kinda got extra defense. Now I can heal Finn. And then it is reusable, right? So I can hide Alyssa now. And then Finn will use his other powerful attack. God bless you, what it was indeed powerful, and... I just hid Alyssa. Nightmare, can you respect my moves, please? I 
have no choice. Rally. And... Hide. First aid on yourself. Oh, you posted something on Crunchyroll, or like, you can also watch that on Crunchyroll? Ah, uh, no, I don't watch Crunchyroll, actually. Uh, I watch things on a different app. It's called... Anime TV, actually. This alien Marlboro is hard. He is... Powering up... After every turn. I mean, that's not the first time that happens, maybe some bosses do that. But what surprised me is that his final blows are really final. Like, nobody could take a final blow. Like, with the... How is it called in this game? Uh, I forgot the word they use for it. It's like enduring the hits, right? But... It gets a different word in here, I forgot. No one could survive a final blow. If only Dave was not the first one that died, I could revive people. And I kinda got past half health for this monster, because I got to like 13,000 health left or like damage left for me to inflict so it was not like the worst run but nobody survived that's the problem okay so let's try this again uh, zap I will save the knockout Yes, I'll go for Pacifist Smash first. Then we can go and use Counter. And you save your Void Bullet and your Flawless Shot, because those are your strongest attacks. This can disarm. Having disarm is good, so try that. Okay. Alright. Uh, then we can go for... This won't work. System crash. At least I can go and use, let me see, maybe... Let's go and start with double team. Never mind, if I use land party, this can be stronger, right? Let's save that for another round. Um... I think I'll go for Drown. If his attacks... I, I have a theory. If his attacks gain the Earth element, will they start being magical attacks? Not really, right? But this also raises his defense, so I will test that up. Get up. He has no attack to use. Uh, just recharge. Double damage if the enemy is low on life, okay? That's good to remember. 
Sue is getting to his hyper, so inspire him. Let's try the uppercut again. All right, and we got a disarm. Then let me try burning. That's my counter. Dave, now you should start healing everyone. So, and viral hack? Or should I do something else? No, heal wave is a single use only, so let's save it for later. Let's go for Enviro hack, yeah. Then Alisa. I will try the land party now, yeah. And then now I can try going for a combo. Wild Finn will get you his hyper next turn, and then maybe I can go for the flawless shot. In the meantime, you can shoot. And then Dave will also get you his hyper next turn. Uh, should I try using the clock? No, I think I will heal. I, I will keep on healing people. Then Alyssa now can go and use, let's see. Oh, you know what? Knockout? <laughs> That's what I wanted. Um, I will save Ground Slam for the next. But I'll use faint, faint now. But what I really want to do now is this. There we go, nice damage. Okay, he is getting stronger. Fin uh, not Finn. Uh, Dave got to his hyper. I should heal. I don't have my Enviro hack anymore. It's only Finn that needs the healing, right? And that's... Oh yeah, on anyone. Let's heal Finn, yeah. Alisa, you are far from getting the... The Hyper. So... I will ask you to recharge, actually. And then Sue got to his hyper, I will use Ground Slam. That's not strong. You should recharge as well. Dave got hurt. But Dave is the one that shouldn't die. So you know what? Sue should start. Not Sue. Maybe Finn should start hiding Dave. Although last time I hid Alisa and Alisa got attacked still. So that was BS. Uh, let's try the briefer. That was not a very good healing but he's defending at least. Alisa got everything back, and now Finn, is will, Finn will be more... Uh, he'll get hypers more often, because he is past the first five turns of waiting until he gets his first hyper, so now he's quick to hyper, he's just not strong. But that can be useful if I use the strong attack he has, the only one. But I don't know, I wanted him to be hiding the other party members. But you know what? I think we can take a shot. Inspire Finn. So he can at least have one attempt on using his, his strong attack. 
because he's my best shot right now for attacking this guy. Although someone should protect Dave, because Dave can't die. Dave is the one that can resurrect people. This is reusable? Okay, this is reusable. Hi, Dave. Now you go for flawless shot. That's fine. I was ex expecting more, but sure. Reboot. Oh, it's on everyone? But I can only use this once, right? Go for this program, then. Because if Dave is alive, like... He, he, near the end of the, the fight, he can resurrect a lot of party members Because that was on everybody So let's use the single target resurrection Could you stop please messing with your tablet and paying attention to this battle, please? Have you seen there is a dead guy next to you? You have a job. Resurrect the dead guy. How could you not do that? Ugh. I will get Clark in this party soon. I can't. Are you kidding me, Dave? Come on! I, I, why do I still try, right? Uh, what am I going to do now? How, how is this fight? Uh, <laughs> oh my God! You are indeed my nightmare. I have no idea. What is my strategy now? Finn was my attacker. If only I could, uh, if only I could poison this guy. I need, I miss Laurie now. Poison this guy, defend forever, and you are happy. That's it. He's playing some gacha, probably. Yes. Um. So we're saying then it will only have a single element at max it loses a certain type are you talking about sue's earth ability wasn't it because she was the last one standing alive do you mean alisa i don't remember who was the last one alive in the previous fight was either Alyssa or Finn. <laughs> oh yeah, it was Alyssa, that's true. But I was thinking that if Dave lasts for longer, he can use that attack that I would hope and dream, although this is a nightmare, but I still want to dream, that will bring people back to life, to life in a dream or in a nightmare, whatever. Although now I just got backstabbed by Dave, because I thought that attack, that program would resurrect Finn. It did not. <sighs> it's, Ali uh, it's Alyssa's Hyper. I need to attack. I can't be just healing myself, because this monster gets stronger on every turn. That was a very solid attack. Thank you for that. It fix disarm. Let's see if the disarm will help me. The, the disarm did not work, but we survived. Okay, Dave, now you gotta heal. Heal everyone, although you also need to recharge. You know what? Recharge. Alisa can heal Sue.
Uppercut! Although that won't be that strong, right? But I'll go for it anyway. Never mind. And the disarm, thank goodness. I think it's time. What if this attack fails again, Silver? Dave, please. This is my only time, right? How much is left? 15,000 is still. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. I could take a risk and then, like, see if this monster would attack Alisa and not Dave. And then, if Dave is the last one remaining, then I use that, you know? But it's 50 50, and. This monster attacks two times and normally he goes for the same target. So I guess would not protect Dave that much. Wait a minute, next turn is Alisa. Alisa could give Dave a second turn by using the clock. Saburo, I'll take a risk. I have an idea. I'll use Patch on Dave. Wait a minute, but then what is the point of what I'm doing? I'm not causing damage this turn. I should be causing some damage. Uh, yes, I won't be able to attack and defend at the same time. Nope. This won't work. I think I'll need to bring everyone back. So hiding probably doesn't work if the enemy doesn't have more targets. But I kind of have the feeling that hiding didn't work uh, even when I had more targets. Or am I just mistaken? Maybe you are right about that. I really wish I could attack and defend now, but I can't. Especially because Dave does the turn first. Holy cow. I think I'll take the risk because otherwise I don't think if I bring back to life everybody we will be able to take 15,000 damage of this monster before he kills everyone again, you know? I need to take one risk at least. Although it's a bad it's a bad timing because no one is at their hyper. I, I won't cause a lot of damage. But if he could target Alyssa, I would be so happy. I'll try that. He's healing. So hopefully one of the targets of this monster will be Alisa, not like two hits on Dave. And then Dave, you gotta survive at least one hit, please. Because Alisa now could attack. And I think I will make her to try doing this maybe? No, she, uh, this monster won't get stunned. 
I don't know if the final blow will be strong enough. I, I will go pacifist smash. Or actually, you know what? Maybe I should recharge. Would he target Alyssa if she's recharging? I, I don't know. Never mind. My plan here was to attack. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, it was a single attack. Nice. Oh, now I just noticed the turn right there. He's going to attack two times. Next. This is good for Alyssa. Although I was expecting a better healing. Yes, I'm taking a risk in here again. But I at least have the chance to cause more damage. That was nothing. He kills Dave in a single blow? We dead. We try. <laughs> I don't know how am I doing it, but we are doing it. I, I also want to know, can't you really get stunned? Let me read that freaking thing again. It... Oh... This only works if the ally has a style over a hundred. Are you kidding me? This is BS. Oh yes, I forgot about this. Yeah, I'll never get my party members to uh, I style above 100, because his attacks drops my style, so that program won't help me, rip. Um, system crash, although next turn it's his hyper, actually, recharge. Then you can go Alyssa and use... What is your strongest attack right now? I, I need to know that too. It's this one. But if I use Lamp Party before using that, I think it gets stronger, so let's save it for later. Flood did nothing to this nightmare. Final Blow is good? It's good, okay. It is a good option. So, regarding Sue, this gives him defense, that's important. And we gotta keep on attacking though. Never mind, hide soon. Then we go for system crash. Okay, System Crash with Hyper from Dave is also good, nice. I need to understand what are the good attacks I have. Uh, Sue is getting to his Hyper, so... 
I could either Knockout or Inspire. I don't know if the, if the Knockout will give me the vulnerability, so I'm going to Inspire through that a guarantee. And then Su can go and use my Uppercut. That's also another good attack, plus we got the Disarm. Now I will hide Su again. Saburu, did you see that? Hiding does nothing in this battle, for some reason. Uh... And Viral Hack. So now, Alisa is going to have her Hyper next turn. Land Party. And then Sue. And then Finn is also getting his Hyper next turn, okay. Hiding doesn't do it though, so... Unless it is like a small chance. Yeah, it doesn't work. Maybe it is a small chance. Maybe it is not guaranteed, right? Maybe if I go back to the... Like where they describe every ability, maybe they will give me the precision of that in there, right? I do want to believe it has a precision, instead of like, it doesn't work in this battle. As everybody has full health, I think I will attack. Um, I guess burn? You are recharging. And then Alyssa will use her combo with Sue. What? Is it random damage? It caused so much more before. I will recharge Sue so I can also get the disarm possibility. Nice. And then Finn, you go for Flawless Shot. You actually use his system crash because it's 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 strong, right? It's 700 or almost that. That's good. Then we heal soon. I'm attacking. I will try the uppercut again. I need to heal Sue again. So maybe now I'll use the potion, although it's such a good item to use now. I want heal soon now. I can try the hiding again, but I will try the hiding. I hope there is a probability, like if it can help a little bit, because that won't do anything. Like those attacks won't do anything. I'll take a chance in here, okay. That's fine. I refreshed Dave so I can keep on using Enviro Hack because it heals everyone. Alisa, you need to be recharging too. Especially for the next turn. And then Sue. I'm starting to get worried about Dave, so. Hide Dave. And then you, my guy, you are going to use your Void Bullet. There it goes, Finn. 
Dave, you were not recharging? You gotta recharge. Alyssa's best attack was the final blow, right? And then Sue. I will try to disarm again. Didn't work. Now, Dave, I could attack, but I have the feeling I will attack. That was a nice damage. Alisa can heal herself. He's going to have two turns in a row. Yeah, Alisa, heal yourself. It's freaking... It's freaking Sue's Hyper. Subaru, I will risk it, man. I could use Aegis on Dave. That would totally make him to survive the next turn. Or try hiding again. But I also must take some risks sometimes to attack and cause damage, right? So... Especially because I got the disarm, thank goodness. He still killed me. <laughs> okay, that was BS, but now it's the time for... What is it? My reboot. Welcome back, everyone. Let's do this, come on. They need to get more rounds, alright? How am I surviving this? I have no clue. Um, I need to keep on disarming. Disarming is, is good. Hmm. But right now I think the best I can do with Alisa is either recharging, but her healing won't like help. Wait, she gets to hyper next turn. Yeah. Recharge. You should recharge too, because I want you to use your powerful blow next turn as well. I think everyone can defend this time. Wait, if he's getting to his final blow next turn, buff him. Okay. Do I protect Dave still? He has 13,000 still of HP. Come on. The buffer zone. He has the Enviro Hack. I will protect Dave as well. I mean... Yes, I will protect him. Now I can attack. Final blow. He really likes to attack Finn, but Finn... So would he choose a potion on Finn, right? I'm not uh, skipping his attack now. No way. How can I save Finn this time? Only healing Finn may not do it, I'm not sure. This could disarm, but he will still kill Finn if he gets to Finn. I guess. That's the answer. There we go! I saved Finn! Um, 
I think Alyssa can heal, right? If she can't, I can use the potion. Right now, we are attacking. Uh, system crash. 800, please. 600, damn it. Next turn, it's Zeus Hyper. Finn can heal himself with the potion. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though. It's probably not. But I kind of want to do a combo somehow, because I need to keep on attacking, otherwise... At least he's not attacking twice in a row anymore for some reason, Saburu, so... I'll take advantage of that, and I'm... I will try the potion on Finn. I didn't get the defense break. Dang it. Actually, Finn can use this on himself. I forgot about it. Now I'm attacking, but I don't have my, my uppercut anymore. Okay. I have the counter. This recharges his abilities. Hmm. I will try the ground slam. That's not strong. And viral hack now, right? Alyssa will have her hyper next turn refresh. Finn still took it, but but he doesn't have his strongest attack anymore. This could disarm. I would appreciate if it could be effective. But then how am I going to heal Finn? Because Dave will need to recharge. Actually, Dave is only. Oh my God. The turn is now will mess with me because he's going to attack twice in a row again. How close am I to beat him? 11,000 still. <laughs> this battle though, dang it! <laughs> it is so hard! Uh, even with the other party, like the girl party, I would pff, struggle a lot. Holy cow, I mean, this is challenging, but of course, it's also exciting when I finally do it, but... It's so BS. Uh, think. Don't panic now. You are actually making progress somehow. But then he's going to attack me two times in a row. Someone will die out of that. Hmm. Dave can't die. He's the only one that can heal the whole party at once. Although Finn has a very good attack sometimes. And if I recharge him now, he's going to be more likely to get targets. Should I sacrifice him? I didn't want to. I have the feeling I have to at least have a chance of sacrificing him in here. Because if I recover there, he's going to get targeted, and then he's going to die. But if I attack, he's probably also going to get targeted, and then he will also probably die. So I need to. I would rather attack. And then if he survives somehow, the next turn he recharges. Because then he will be able to use his hyper. That's a strong. I will try the disarming, but I think he will get targeted. But at least I got the disarm, that's good. I will not try hiding. Actually, never mind, maybe I should try hiding him. I'm not using my potion now, nope.
he's already disarmed, so I should save his recharge for another turn that I might need disarming. So, you know what? I think I will try the hide. It worked. Okay. And also he did not... Or he caused no damage to us. Sabri saying, relax, you're going to find a way to win this battle. Uh, even if you last with 1 HP. Don't jinx me now, though. Uh, things are hard, but we are still surviving. But if someone dies, now it's over. Unless Su has that 100% when he dies. Of style. Then we can resurrect him. But I need to cause more damage, because if I keep on struggling, I'm dead. Alisa, you have your... Hyper next turn, so it's a good moment to attack. And she's the next one. In Actually, her next turn is the Hyper, so... The best I can do with Dave now, I think it's rebooting. Or just patching. I don't know if patch will heal Finn completely. <sighs> um, no, never mind. You know what? I'm patching. That was not complete. Alisa, you got attack. <laughs> no matter what. Nice damage! Thank you so much! <laughs> Finn, you should recharge now. Also because you are endangered. And you have your hyper next turn for another attack. Sue, I want you to give an extra turn to my boy Dave. Thank you for that. I could attack, but I won't. Because what I want to do is buffer zone. I'm buffing... Should I buff him? Actually, I was thinking about buffing Finn. Because this attack heals a little bit and raises his HP or max HP by 20%. Also, hey Ritsuru, what's up man? We are having one tremendous boss fighting here with... This party that's like not the best, but beats the rest, right? I hope. Yeah, we are having a very tough strategic thinking and brainstorming battle. Brainstorming in every possible meaning of that word because we are inside Alyssa's mind as well. As this is a dream or a nightmare. Anyway, welcome to the stream. We are, we are probably dead, but this is our best one in this boss fight with this party so far. So, I don't know, hope for some miracles, because it's been hard and probably next turn someone will die. I hope not. I'll follow the plan, although if he attacks Dave, <laughs> rip, right? And I have the feeling that even if I boost Dave's max HP by 20%, he won't survive this creature's attacks regardless. So, Finn, I'm passing the baton to you. Don't disappoint me because you are my attacker. Look how crazy this is. I'm counting on Finn to cause damage. I have been criticizing his physical attacks or his attacks in general for this whole night. I was like, Finn, you don't do a thing, right? Finn, you can't cause damage. But I found one attack he has that causes damage. And now he has quick hyper mode, as it only takes two turns. He's my best shot. So please do not support me here. It's okay if I get another death. But I want you to give all you have up to the end, like until you have one HP like Summer said. I'm counting on Finn, come on. 
<laughs> oh, good defense and off. You see, I knew it. <laughs> I know Dave. I know he wouldn't take <laughs> that hit and survive. Jesus. I'll let you get to it. Good luck. Oh, you'll be lurking. All right, man. Making dinner. I hope you have a great one. Things are now more complicated, but we we have 9,000 left and Finn is ready to attack. Alisa, you are my healer now. At least Su can attack as well next turn. And thankfully we'll take or get a small break uh, before he has two turns again. And then that two turns, like, up ahead will kill another party member for sure. But I can have a couple of good attacks now. I should use this moment. And you know what's the best? As they both are going to get two hypers. So do you have any good... Sue doesn't have any good attack to use right now, right? Sue did not recharge. But anyway, my best shot right now is to try dropping this guy's defense. Please, give me a vulnerability on this boss now. Alisa, break this guy's defense! Yes! God bless! Thank goodness! No! Finn, I deposited my hopes, my... My money, my... Spirit... Everything, my chips, right? On you, like, this is the bet I'm taking all in! Please, a lot of damage! If it's not 2,000, I take a thousand something. That's okay. <laughs> it could have been better, but that's fine. It's a thousand something. What do I do with you now? But you were attacking for sure. That's for real. Uh... Bolo punch? I never tried bolo punch. I mean, combo could try getting him another one of the... Uh, previous attacks but I do think the best for him is to recharge and maybe causing disarm right on the next round so you know what bolo punch please be good that was fine all right that's not bad 7,000 left and I have three more rounds before someone dies Alisa I have the feeling you should recharge Actually, everyone should recharge, so we can try hoping for a survival by defending during the recharge, right? Recha oh, recharge everyone, and that also heals. Fantastic. Finn, you should recharge as well. And Sue, if you can disarm him by recharging, I would appreciate that. Thank you so much! There we go. People will survive. Nice. Now we have Alisa's final blow. Literally speaking, nice damage. Finn is back with his attack. I was hoping for more though, but 5,000 is left. We got the uppercut, but now things are more divided on his attacks, right? This is dangerous. Those turns right there are dangerous. If he recharges again... He has another shot on disarming and. Wait, never mind, it's another thing, right? Wait. Oh, never mind, it was Finn's recharging ability that made him more uh, suitable for getting the hits, for taking the hits. It's not Sue. I should protect Finn though. Finn is my. Alisa. Uh, never mind. Alisa has been causing the most damage here. But Finn recharges faster regarding his. Uh, hyper, right? His hyper is quicker. Soon we'll have his hyper next turn though. This is a strong defend. I think I could try that. I can... Uh, yeah, a strong defend. It's better than just defend. Although there is a disarm. It 
If the disarm fails, someone will die probably. And I hope it's not Sue because he has a chance to give us a hyper attack. But he could be killing Finn right now. Should I take this risk? I'll take this risk. Please disarm. Nope. He went for Alisa. Alisa survived, but she's clutching. She needs to heal herself. Or I can try the knockout, but then nobody will save her, right? Wait, never mind. Finn is the next one to perform. Man, this is looking very bad now. Because he's going to attack two times. I don't know if that was the best, the best choice. Oh, if I do this, I could try saving soon. I, I think I'll try that. That would work. But I have my uppercut back. I'm not winning this fight. Yep. Jesus, that was such a close run, though. Should we go for the game over, actually? Because I saved before this, right? So... I go for the game over, Subaru? I did get closing here, but it's so hard. And it's also getting late, like, I, I am woken up, but I don't want to keep on going forever, right? Uh, the game over could give us another party for this. I gotta say that this part is not as bad, but it's this monster. Unless I go with the same party, but I change my moves. Maybe I can get more important or fitting moves for this fight with them. Maybe more disarming attacks or vulnerability attacks. Let's for that let's go for the game over. I will try it again with the same party, but I will change some attacks that I have. Or maybe some shields that I have too, right? Have I loaded the right state file by the way? I hope I did. Oh, it's down here, right? Man, I really wish I could win that fight the way we were going. But at the very least, I'll keep on trying going there with this party. And also, I could get close, so it would have been possible. I just needed a little bit more luck, right? Let me see. Finn's shield was... Void Bullet and Void Blast. Hackitude required 40. Dave could do that. 
and at least I could do that. Uh, what if we give the adventurer to Finn? So Finn could also be more, you know, useful than Dave. And then Dave could be using the Void Bullet. I think I'll make that change. Oh, Finn can only use the Breather. It's fire damage. This enemy is weak to fire, but... Wait, can I also get poison? Mm, no, I don't want that. Oh, Dark actually has very little defense. The Sheriff is the one that has the highest defense stats. Those could be somehow useful, but not that great. Although this is a good defense for him, right? I guess I'll keep him with that. Dave, you are going to get the Dark. So you can use Void Bullet and Void Blast. Ryo Sue has... Wait, those right there. Oh, it is less chance of getting targeted. You see, it's not like a guarantee. I see. So it's a risk. So can can use the heal wave and the briefer. Although this is going to drop his defense a lot. That's why Dave was always dying. Because this shield has only 10 off defense. Summer, what do you think about those shields? Should we go for the shield that's weak but allows us to heal? Or should we go for the stronger shield? I mean, the only really, really, wait, the only healing ability that I was really, really using was Dave's, right? The Enviro hack, because it really heals everything. So maybe I should ignore those healing abilities and go for more defense. I think I'll give Sue Groove. Dave is, although Dave now has very low defense. You know what? Maybe... Maybe Sue should get Dark. I mean, not Dark. Yeah, someone needs to get Dark though. Okay, Sue gets Dark and Dave gets more defense. Uh... But it's now only the Void Bullet. But that's okay, it is still, it is still a very strong attack. Or should I also get rid of Void Bullet? I, you know what, maybe I should get rid of Void Bullet as well. And focus on my defenses. 
Or changing here to uh, Dave should be the one to survive the most, even though he's a uh, tryhard. So he gets the sheriff. You get Groove, and the next one that is stronger is Steel, right? Steel. Let's not rely on the programs this time. Let's rely on their abilities. Uh, the abilities. Or the item, like there is the potion. Maybe I can check my items too, maybe there is something useful. So that's... wait. That also helped us in this fight, right? But this right here, uh, Envirohack is the best one for healing. Uh, this increases style, is stunning, enraging. Vulnerability, this can be useful, this is like defense break, and it's 150%. Max attack does plus 70% attack, that can be good too. This is too random. Let's see, what was not useful for me on this fight? Uh, this one. I will change it for vulnerability. System crash was strong. Zap is like 135%, I was not using it anymore. But in case they need to give it a final attack, maybe we should take a risk and go for RNG with like a chance of getting 300%. Or we should ignore the zap and really make Dave the pro supporter and then give him, what is it? Um, cheat code, because then we can make somebody else stronger in 70%. I feel alright about that, but Dave won't be able to attack anymore, unless he has um, this one, System Crash. So, what about you? I was not using Bolo Punch, so I can change that, I guess. HP has never got a negative in here. 50% of vulnerability, that's low. Oh, this is good. It damages and can cause vulnerability with 100%. Okay, I'm making that change for this. Uh, faint increases 35% every time, but it's only on the next turn. Uh, Ground Slam was not doing it in here. Let's change it to... Maybe for something more critical, you know, like high damage but lowers user's defense. Yeah, if there is some sort of crazy moment that he's going to die, maybe this can be useful. And then Rock Solid won't help me here either, so... Adds one hyper bar. Damages and inflicts disarm. 75%, that's fine by me. Uh, I have no idea why the... Let me actually see what was the name for that. 
Desperate. Yeah, desperate mode. I have no idea why nobody got desperate. Maybe it's because it's a different fight, because it is, in, it is inside Alyssa's Nightmare. Maybe in Alyssa's Nightmare, everyone is weak. Nobody can win against a monster. Maybe that's the logic behind it. At least that's my theory. I haven't seen too many Cosmic Star you know, Hero in streams. It's been forever though since I uh, last played it. I think last, yeah, last Sunday I was playing Elite Beat Agent, so we skipped like two weeks uh, to stream this. Can you grind up your levels if you need to? I can't grind them anymore because this game has this mechanic that the enemies don't respawn. So basically, my grinding is beating the enemies once, but I can't like find more enemies unless I go to a new area, right? So I can't grind. I can change my party, so I'm not saying that this fight will be impossible. Uh, I can like get the other party members that could be more suitable for this, but the thing is that tonight I was more determined to give those three more time to shine. So I kind of want to believe I can get through that boss fight with them. So that's why I'm changing my strategies in here after the, I think, three attempts so far, maybe four. And things we have learned about this boss. And what sucks about this boss is what Subaru said, there is no desperate. If he kills, he kills. Like, no one will have negative HP. So that doesn't allow me to, like, help someone in need when I have time. No, if he kills, he kills. So that's the thing. But I also learned that he can be... Um, vulnerable. And he can have his attack decreased. But I could not make him stunned, I think. Never mind, I could make him stunned once. Actually, it's because I made him stunned that I believe I was able to mess with the turn order. Because sometimes he was attacking me two times in a row, That's that was the deadliest moment. But when he was attacking only once, I could heal myself again and come back. Maybe it was the stunning that sometimes worked, thanks to Alyssa's uh, shield breaker. And then when he was stunned, maybe he was like separating his turns a little bit more, you know? So he can get stunned. But I would not want to rely on that. I would rather have vulnerability for me to cause more damage or breaking his attack down. So I don't take too much damage when he attacks me, right? Let me keep on going on that path. I checked Sue and Finn, wasn't it? Or was it Sue and Dave? No, Sue and Dave. So next is Finn. What can I change in here? Flawless Shot was his best attack, surprisingly, so it's not leaving this at all. Burn did nothing. Arrest, Disarm, and Stun, although it's 50%. Never mind, Disarm is 100 and Stun is 50. I'm sold, I can give it to him. Instead of Burn, Burn did nothing, yes. So, arrest. Uh, next we have second wind heat up. Uh, second wind is a healing option, not much, but it can help, so it, it stays. Hiding also stays. Shoot. I don't know. This can inflict disarm, it stays. So, I'm thinking about changing heat up and shoot uh, especially shoot so stinging fly it inflicts enrage i don't think i like that this buffs his defense for four turns oh that's all i can get i guess it's better than what i had so sure and this increases in damage with each use per battle. Okay, but my main goal in here is attack by using Flawless Shot. 
even though it only says in the air it's 140% of damage, it surprisingly can cause more than that for some reason that I don't understand. So I couldn't change Finn that much. What about Alyssa? Alyssa's best attack was Final Blow, at least from my experience. Fast Fist Smash is good too. It's actually stronger, uh, if you think about it. I should test that more this time. Drown? I would probably change that. This ignores defenses? That, that's interesting. Uh, delegate. An extra turn? Surprise stash. Oh, ooh. this can be good. Party buff, it increases cunning. Cunning, I think it's for magic defense. Either magic defense or magic, uh, magic attack. So should we try the item thing? You know what, I think this can be a game changer. I should change Flood as well, maybe for Delegate. Um, body? Fan? Can I check his... wait, I wanna check his stats. Is it in abilities? No, it's... oh, in Equip, okay, so Cunning is the last one in there. It's magic defense. This boss, he doesn't use a lot of magic attacks, right? He goes physical, so I don't think that would be good. Hmm. What about my items? I guess it's important. Buffs can be good too. But I have Shield Breaker right here. I have Poison Mist. Organic enemies only, never mind this won't work against this nightmare. Shield breaker. We could wait, but let me see something. Abilities, Alisa. Surprise stash. It's in her it's like her own uh her own It's on herself, there we go. And she has the knockout. Knockout is my best way to like break his shield. Although I can also be stunning him or breaking his attack. So I don't think I would use Surprise Stash on Alyssa for that item. That item should be used by somebody else that can't do this, like knockout. Well, let's keep on checking the items. Shield breaker, I guess, sunglasses, no. No cost to initiate desperate mode, but desperate mode hasn't been working right now. The hyperizer. The bad thing is that that can be used in, in one ally. Wait a minute, Alyssa could be hyperizing everybody. Smelly cheese. And the bomb. I think the hyperizer could be good. You know what? I'm going to swap that for the clock because I haven't been using the clock. It is an important item, but this hyperizer can be a game changer too, especially if she doesn't consume it. But I also liked the disarm, right? Maybe even more than buffs. The stats go higher in 35%. And the shield breaker is 100%. I mean, that 100% doesn't mean that it's going to work 100%. What it means is that my damage will double. Because it's going to become... 100% more vulnerable, right? So I think I'll go like that. I'll keep an Aegis, Shield Breaker, 
the potion. Although this shield breaker will probably be used once. Uh, and it's not going to be used by Alyssa. Unless she has used her knockout. And then she can't do anything anymore for a uh, shield break. But I hope that this doesn't go for Alyssa. What will go for Alyssa is the Hyperizer. Okay. I think I'm good with that. And then the potion in case I need to heal. Let me save again. Uh, regardless of the result of this battle right now, I think it's going to be my last. Because I'm kind of feeling tired. And hunger is coming. Plus, maybe I should, you know, eat something healthy. Because I haven't been eating anything healthy this weekend. But let's go for it. How was the anime event? It was great. Um, I ended up playing a lot of video games. There was a Wii U that I played Mario Kart 8. Oh yeah, let me show you this, uh, the things I have gotten. Or it's true, I don't remember now, but are you a fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Because I got some drawings or art from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, let me show you them, or show you them. This is Jotaro Kujo. He's probably the most famous or popular character. I will see if I can buy some sort of frame for it in the future. And then I got Iggy, which is a dog from Jojo as well. And I bought it because he, he reminds me of Morgana, the cat from Persona 5. And maybe someday I can get something Persona 5 related. And place him next to, to Morgana, right? But the thing that I could not believe that I found it was... I, I'm still mind blown that I found this. Look at that! He got a freaking mellow drawing. I was mind blown by that. I'm like, what? What is this doing in here? Out of nowhere? Give me that shit! And then I even had the frame to buy from the, from the artist. So, I had to buy this Mellow, for sure. Uh, Mario RPG is my favorite game. And he also drew Gino in the past. Somebody bought the Gino, but I was telling him, Oh, if in case you draw him again, or like, uh, if I can request that from, uh, from you. Next time I meet you in another anime event, I'm totally buying Gino too. I even got his contact, like his Instagram. So, I think I will go after that Gino. Because I really love this mellow in here. And you know what's the best of it too? I mean, I did feel a little bit uh, sad for that though. Like, part of me is sad, but the other part is very happy. All of that was super cheap. I could not believe it. Uh, the art of this artist deserved more... Uh, it should have been pr more pricey, right? But for some reason, he sells his art in a cheap price. But his art is better than other art I have seen out there. Oh, by the way, let me use the alcohol now. Because that's probably uh, not sterilized. Hopefully that's a word in English. But thanks to COVID and everything. Hygiene, first place. And then after three days, I will safely... Uh, like touch it and then not get contaminated or sick but just in case as it's still happening and everyone has been getting sick but yes i love those that, that art and it's better than other art i have seen that were much more expensive so this guy gave those art pieces for me that are incredible like he's so talented for a very good price i could not believe all of that, believe it or not, was $5, basically. Not five, four. Uh, something around four dollars. He gave me one of my favorite... <laughs> one of my favorite freaking characters of my favorite game, framed... For less than four dollars plus the JoJo art. I'm like, count me in, I will buy anything you do. And then once he has the Gino, I'm after that too. So yeah, that was fantastic. And then I played the video games, like I said. I also played... Um, 
Smash Brothers Brawl, it was great to play as Ness again, because Ness is my main uh, character, it's, it was forever since I played Smash Brothers. And I sang a lot, like, the band that was there, even though the acoustic of the stage was horrible, like, the music quality was horrible, but the band was good, like, they knew what they were playing, so they did a great job on playing the anime songs. I sang a lot. They played Pokemon, Dragon Ball, Digimon, Yu, Hakusho. They even played JoJo's uh, songs. They played Neon Genesis Evangelion. I was screaming out loud, even though the freaking sound in there was with a bad acoustic. So everyone was like this. But I had a lot of fun. And I re-encountered a friend I have met in the previous uh, anime event I went. I made a new friend this time too. And I even, I don't know, had some contact with the people that played Mario Kart with me, at least in the end. That I even challenged them again, like, I see you in the next anime event for more Mario Kart, for us to continue this battle. So maybe we'll meet again in the next Mario Kart, the next event in the city, which is in August. So it's coming by soon. Anyway, it was super fun. And I could not believe that I got those things for such a good deal. Especially the mellow. What are the odds for me to find a mellow? Also, by the way, I gotta point out that one of his art, and now I kind of regret a little bit not buying it, although if I think about it, if I had it exposed on my shelf, some people could ask me what is that doing there, plus my parents being... I don't know, you know? What am I talking about? I'm talking about one drawing he had in there, that was basically the back of a blonde girl in bikini with the ocean in front of her. That's why I'm saying that if I had that on my shelf, some people would be like... But why am I saying that I would love to buy that? Because it looked a lot like Yushio from Summertime Rendering. I was like, you have Yushio from Summertime Rendering? And he was like, who? It was exactly like Yushio. So I was like, this is beautiful and you don't know what this is? <laughs> I'm kidding because he was like, oh, I just thought on a girl and then I did it myself. I swear to God, it was Yushio. Maybe she copied herself into this artist drawings, I don't know. But I wanted to buy that too. Although, like I said, I don't know if I would expose the back of a bikini girl body on my shelf. But I swear to God, that was beautiful because it was freaking out of summertime rendering somehow. Anyway, uh, maybe next time I consider buying that. But the anime event was great. Uh, I just feel bad that I couldn't eat well this weekend. Because yesterday I went out for the museum and then I ate like pizza in there and pizza at home. And today I went for Burger King uh, as a dinner. I did not have lunch. So tomorrow... I hope that I can have something nutritious, because I need nutritious. Right now, I think I'll go for cereal. Like, I need milk to, like, give me vitamins. So I don't feel bad. But the event was great, man. And then the next one... There are more events happening. Like, next weekend, there is another one. But it's super expensive, so I think I will pass. But I may see what I'm doing next weekend instead of that. But the next one that I'm probably going is uh, August 6th and 7th. And it's going to be the anniversary edition of the one event I went before. That's why it's going to happen the whole weekend. And I'm thinking if I go there both days or one day, I will see how that goes. But yeah, that was a summary of the event. Too bad they haven't promoted the event more because it was very empty. But I also gotta tell you the truth. Because it was somewhat empty, it was way more comfortable. I could talk to people while hearing them without like a big noise, a big loud, a big mess. And the games were easy to play as well because there weren't many people there trying to play the games. So personally speaking, I like the comfortable or like the... I like how this event was more comfortable. Not perfect. If only they could have a better, like I said, acoustic in the stage for that concert then maybe this presentation, not presentation, this event could have been closer to perfection. But yeah, like, it had its problems, but I really liked how I felt comfortable. 
while in the other anime events, not only I went there sick, so it was hard for me to communicate or to speak because of my throat. Also, it was loud. Everything was close by and next to each other. So there were all sorts of things happening close to you and people everywhere. It was a mess. It's actually going to be a bigger mess because the anniversary event will have even more things going on. One thing that I wanted to try but I gave up was the PlayStation VR. They had the PlayStation VR there. But once I heard it was for a horror game, I was like, not today. Bye. And then I went for the Mario Kart 8 and the Smash Brothers. And then I played it a lot. But yeah, it was very good. I'm happy that I went to the event. And thankfully, I also returned home kind of early to stream this game tonight. You're not a really fan of JoJo? I can understand. JoJo is not for everybody. I could not believe it was a, 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 an anime for me, even. But it only really got me in the third arc and in the fourth arc, because I related many things in there to Persona. And actually, Persona was... I mean, it's probably a theory, I can't remember right now if it was confirmed, but as Jojo came in before Persona, and there are so many things in common between both, believe it or not, maybe it's for real. Persona probably was based in Jojo. And you know what else? Unfortunately, we had this week the bad news or sad news about the death of the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! I read when I was like checking some infos about his life that he was a big Jojo fan. So Jojo probably also inspired Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot, somehow. So, Jojo is big in the Japanese anime and culture, right? I knew it was a classic, but I had no idea that it impacted many authors and creators for things that I actually love, like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Persona, for example. So, now I respect Jojo even more. I actually wanted to buy the tarot cards of the third arc because they sell it on an app that I buy many things. So maybe one day when they get some discount, or when there is a good deal, I buy those cards too. Horror game VR for you is nope, me neither. Even though there were kids, play that. Have good nightmares, kids, because I have my own nightmares to take care of. Like this one guy right here, that's actually the nightmare. That's messing with Alyssa's brain. I Wait, have I checked everything? I got the items, I got the abilities, and I got the shields. Should I change my... My supporter? Wait, Regan, 15 HP? Is it auto Regan? this guys should it go out or regan or heal effect like we were going i'm guessing this is out of regan because it doesn't say like plus 15 right it just says regan 15 you know what i'm going for this It is Auto Regan, let's go! So let me get used to this uh, setup that I have now. <laughs> Especially public, Oritsuru. I think I would not scream out loud, but I can pass, right? Another day I tried the PlayStation VR. They will bring it back to the anniversary uh, edition of the anime event in August, but probably they will have the horror game again. I was kind of sad though that, especially in the beginning, like in the first hours of the event, nobody was minding the Mario Kart. Like I was playing solo for many, many hours until someone showed up and then I was like, 
I want to be your friend, and then we befriended. And then we were playing games for the whole uh, event, and then later more people showed for Mario Kart. But... Yeah, like everyone was just like, I want to play Naruto. I want to play Mortal Kombat. I also played a little bit of Mortal Kombat 11 though. But only those games were getting the popular people and then, or like, they, they were getting popular. And then Mario Kart was forgotten, nobody cares for Nintendo, you know? While it was like the best game to play with other people, in my opinion. Especially because it was up for four players, while Mortal Kombat is two players, Naruto is two players. Anyway, okay, let's try this again. Actually, before that, water time. Let's do this with this party. Uh, we have cheat code. It buffs and next, next move deals more damage, okay? And then we have beach, system crash, and buffer zone. Items, now we have Vigus, shield breaker, potion, and the one that's like instant hyper, right? And then we have some new programs, but they may not be that great. Uh, disarming and stun, and charming. Yes, well, this is bad, it strengthens target, I don't want to make this monster is, is stronger. Huh. And then the turn order is like we for attack and he attacks two times. We start with breach. Then we go for Final blow. We have face punch, the bum rush. This is only for like the last thing ever, right? Wait, the vulnerability is over. Let's try it again with below the belt. Oh, that was for disarming. Okay. And hit up adds power every in each use, right? So I think I will start with that. Or it could actually get more defense. Uh, now I want you to recharge. Or maybe maybe never mind. Maybe I should buff Alyssa. Because she's going to get to her hyper. But Alisa attacked. Yeah, Alisa won't do much now. You know what? Dave, you will be buffed. Because you get to your hyper next turn. Yeah, I used Alisa's at. Oh, I still have Pacifist pacif Smash though. Let's see if this is better. That's good. Yeah, that was very good. I forgot about it. So, let me see. Sue will get to his hyper next turn, and then Dave as well. And we are getting attacked after Finn's turn. Let me see if I can disarm him. I could not. Um... Uh... I will save this for when he's attacking me two times. Right now. Try heating up again. Okay, Dave, you're attacking. Oh my god, that was a lot. Uh, Alisa. Your hyper is a bit far, so... I can hyperize someone. 
Can I hyperize? Uh... Oh, next item used isn't consumed. Oh, so if I use that on herself, I will need to wait another turn for me to use the item, right? So it's better when I use that on another party member. Maybe now is not the best moment for me to do that. But I can go for knockout. I couldn't get my defense break though, but I can go for an uppercut. Yes, uppercut. And I got the disarm, good. Now I will get ready for his both attacks. Um, you can restore that HP you have. Dave, now you can use... Use patch on yourself. Now I can hyperize somebody. I think I will hyperize uh, Sue, right? I no Sue is next, so I would like I would like hyperize. I would hyperize Sue so Sue can give Finn the the hyper. But Finn is almost getting to his hyper. I don't know if that's worth. Actually, Inspire is also interesting. Never mind. Next Oh my god, it's a lot to analyze. Next turn, Alisa has her hyper. Rally. Don't overthink this. Uh Sue, I think you should recharge as well. That also has a chance of disarming, but it failed. And then Finn gets to his hyper next turn. I think he can try disarming again. Or should I save that for when he attacks me two times? I will save that for later. Right now. This can also disarm. Try that. Nice. Now, uh, Dave... You should defend because some heavy blows are coming. Alisa, you are taking the risk in here and you are attacking. I will try the pacifist smash. Wait, pacifist smash hyper again. I like that. Was oh yeah. Maybe now I have a favorite attack uh, from Alisa or a new favorite. Sue and Finn are getting to their hypers. So is Dave. I should disarm this guy now. But then recharging... Oh, this could disarm. Let's try it. It didn't work. But I'm attacking with Finn, no matter what. Okay, we're good. Dave, you can attack too. Let's not miss that opportunity. And then Alisa... Uh, she still needs to wait until her next hyper. Unless I accelerate that process. Or actually I can power up soon. I will power up soon. Let's go for the uppercut. And I got the disarm. Then Finn. Now you should recharge. Perfect moment for the recharge. And then now we have four turns and then two attacks. 
and Finn will have his Hyper on the next turn, that's perfect. You know what? Let's help Finn out. Although, what if he attacks Dave and then Dave dies? Someone should protect Dave. I think Su should try protecting Dave. It's a risk, but I will take it. Uh, you will power up uh, Finn, that's the one that's attacking now. Alisa, you will try breaking his defense, maybe paralyzing him or causing attack break. We got. St oh, we okay, we got defense break and stunning, that's good. So I want you to protect Dave. So I will try. Don't I have hide anymore? I don't have hide anymore. Dang it! I can only go for I guess. This is not a good moment for using I guess though. Hmm. Dave, I hope you can survive those two attacks right there, guy. Or my guy. I will counter attack. And then Finn, you are attacking now, for sure. There we go. Dave survived. Maybe it's because of the stun. Now I'm healing everyone. Alisa got to her hyper with final blow. Um, Sue gets his hyper next time, and then I don't have anything very strong to use. Recharge. I did not get the disarm, that's okay. I have another chance in here to try getting the disarm, right? Maybe arrest. It failed, but he he went for Sue, that's good, and then I had counter. And I got the disarm thanks to the counter, perfect. Now Dave, you should attack, but I don't have anything to attack anymore, right? So you are actually going to protect. Because you gotta get ready to also heal everyone. So this is a waste of his hyper, but but that's fine. He only has a single attacking move. Alisa, you should defend too, and this is also going to give some HP to the party, that's good. Su got to his hyper, but there are two attacks coming. Uh, I could go for damage. He's disarmed, he won't cause a lot of damage. Uppercut! And then Finn, you have... You don't have your strongest attack anymore, but I was kind of buffing it up. Because this gets stronger the more I use it. Or I can try raising your defenses again. No, but I, I will try attacking it up. Maybe 400? 400, that's okay. That's my counter. Oh, there goes Sue, but that's fine. Dave's is still alive, he can resurrect. I just don't know if this is a good moment for that. Uh, how much is left for, for us to kill it? 10,000. I will try uh, staying alive for a little bit more. What can I do with Dave now? Uh, no one is close to get to their hypers. Vulnerability, but it's not a good moment for that. Max HP plus healing. Wait, he got... He got the... I, I did something to him. Was it the hyper thing? What have I done to him? I forgot.
I prepared him for something this turn, but I don't remember anymore. I don't know if it was the hyper, so now if I use an item, it could be a single use only. No, never mind. I think I prepared him for his hyper attack, right? Yes. Okay, it's not about my items. So let me see. I think I'll buff Alisa for some reason. Because I, I kind of want Alisa to attack now. With Pacifist Smash. Or Knockout. Maybe next turn it's better for me to go for the Knockout. So let's go Pacifist Smash. Oh my god, that was so good. And then Fan. I will try disarming him, or should I? No, I should recharge. They've survived, but this is not good. Yeah, not good at all. Uh, I don't want to use that though. I mean, I could use this, and then after that double attack, I can go for reboot. Because patch won't give Dave full health. But if he gets attacked twice, he won't survive at all. But wait, I need to think about this. I really wanted to go and attack with both Finn and Alisa next turn. Because let me check his health again. 9000. You know what? My best shot is to bring Sue back. Dave, I'm tired of like your resurrection attack shenanigans. Can you please tell me why that didn't work now? If it worked last attempt. You deserve to die this time, you know what? Holy cow. I will go for knockout because I need to survive somehow and... Can I break his attack? I could not, that's perfect. I would have to try again. Can I stun or disarm you, please? Thank you so much. Although they do deserve that. What the heck? Yeah, this is the end. Uh. Recharge. Try to disarm again. Okay, now Alisa, you have your hyper next turn, but a lot of attacks are coming by. Is left again, 8,000. I gotta try the knockout. It failed, I'm dead.
I don't know why uh, Dave's attack failed. I have no idea. I don't know, for real. Maybe it is a chance of resurrection? Maybe it is a chance of healing? It doesn't say anything in there about that though, like chance, it only says it heals, it revives, it cures, only once. I don't get that. <sighs> but it was not a bad fight again, let's try it. Uh, buff. Buff Alisa. Now take this passive smash. Uh, let's see. Nice timing for the disarm. Now let me see, what can you do? I think you should... Maybe a hit up? Hit up and then you recharge next. Although if I... Yeah, that's okay. Now, Dave. Hmm. Max HP plus on Alisa. Alisa will have another attack next turn or hyper, so rally. Then Sue. Let's counter and then next turn he recharges. And then Finn will have his hyper next turn. Right now I want you to recharge. Dave. I can try a resting I guess. Failed, but we are attacking now with Pacifist Smash. And Sue recharges now. We got that disarm, good. And then we are attacking. Double attack, please resist. That's fine, thanks to that disarm. They've got you hyper, but we have nothing to use for our attack, so... Recharge. Alisa needs two more turns to hyper. Hmm. Although Sue is having his attack now, right? I will try the knockout, or maybe I should go for inspire. I'll go for inspire. Nice. Then Finn can go and use 
cover fire trying to disarm this guy or maybe I should go for a rest. No, let's save a rest for when he has double attacks. Although next turn I think I will attack by using Sue. Not Sue, a uh, fan. I will try disarm. Nice. My counter on your face. And then if I really go for for Finn attacking, I could buff him. Actually, I will be more cautious. I will raise Sue's max HP as well. Alisa gets to her uh, hyper next, so I'll try knock out this time. All right, and then Sue, can you try getting that disarm? I, I missed that, but I can now have... Oh, that's not going to be strong. I'll go for it anyway. Okay, Dave survived, and I think that stun helped me to not get double attacked. So what do I do next? How is this going? 15,000? Okay. Alisa will have that attack, uh, or a strong attack next. I want her to have a strong move, so... I'm buffing her. You go for it. And then someone should help Dave, right? I'll use the potion. And then Finn, you should recharge now. Perfect moment for that recharge. Dave, you could attack. But I, I think you might die next turn. It's a guess. Or should I heal everyone? The best time for me to heal everyone is after the next two attacks that this guy will cause, right? Uh, this can be a bad decision. Vulnerability, it, it's probably not going to work. Uh, it is 15,000. No, 14,000. So we still have a lot more. It's almost half, I would say. attack that's fine Alisa you can't really I mean unless I use that I will trust Sue Sue you have something right please have something this oh yeah this also will heal my party a little bit more I forgot about that Plus the Reagan, I forgot about the Reagan too. So you have something to break his... Okay, vulnerability. Yeah, this is the attack I'm using, below the belt. Ah, oh yes, I got the disarm, that's what I wanted, there we go. So that's going to help us to resist those two attacks that are coming. And now it's perfect, because Finn also has his hyper and then he has a defense break. Nice. Okay, so far we are doing alright, although Dave almost died. Um, should I recharge Dave? Actually, Dave should recharge on the next turn. Because he's probably going to attack two times again in a row. Uh, go for a viral hack because I think I will recharge you next, so why not? Then Alisa gets to her hyper next. 
right now no one is going to have their hypers hmm. oh yes i forgot about those Dave seems like a bit of a liability. I... Not only he's a glass character, like everything kills him, but also when he has a job of resurrecting my party members, he... He can't do it. I still don't understand why that attack didn't work last time. There is probably something like in the... I don't know, hidden in, in like the description of that attack that I couldn't grasp because it worked before why it failed now it probably has something to do with their um, styles like the style they get those percentages down there under the, the, the health right yes under the health it has some purpose it's the style percentage but for that other resurrection move, I did not notice that being important. For a previous one, I learned the hard way because oh, this didn't work. So why it failed? It because it required this uh, style of like at least a hundred percent. But this other move, I don't know. Like I, I will check that later. But Dave, can you please make it work next time I need it? At least in this battle, I don't get it. So let me see, Alisa, Sue, and Finn. I can try... No, let's save that for the other round where he is more dangerous, right? Although she's going to get to her hyper next round. attacking should I recharge you now no I will charge you next turn because you have a chance of disarming so now you go for counter and then Finn used his strongest attack, right? Next turn he will have his hyper. And I'll be healing everybody next turn too. No, never mind. Am I going to actually recharge Dave? I think I will recharge Dave. So maybe I should try disarming him, actually. Because I don't want him to kill Dave! How much is left? 11,000. <laughs> right, Ritsuru? <sighs> no, I cannot resurrect him anymore. He is the resurrector one. Or he should have been it. Let's see what else can I do here, but... and I mean, everybody's healed. Let's attack. I have the hyper. That's fine. Uh, Finn is also getting to his Hyper. I did not recharge him though, that's not good. I'm recharging soon now. Disarm, disarm! It failed. Yes, I have not recharged you, right? I will recharge you now. That's fine, that's my counter. And I got the Disarm, there we go. We survived his both attacks. Alisa, you are now the new healer, so I, I hope you like that job. 
and Sue is getting to his hyper, right? Inspire him, yes, inspire him. Uppercut! And then Fen, you get your hyper next. And you have everything you gotta have. Defense up! Okay. Uh, if he keeps on causing that amount of damage, I think we can still survive another turn. So I will go for. I can go also for this. You know what? Rally because I'll be able to attack with Alyssa next, and Rally will heal them a little bit. Also, Alyssa will be protected with more defense. Sue, we are trying to disarm him. Face punch! It failed. And Fan, you are attacking. Okay, we survived that with some clutch. Mm, how much is left? I cannot save them both, that's for sure. I think I'm dead. Oh, I can go for double team. That did nothing. Is it because Sue is weak now with like low health? Yeah, my only hope now is to disarm him. I <laughs> I actually did it. Uh Fen, you try healing yourself. He's dead. Yeah, this is not the run. Although Sue is getting to his uh, to his hyper, right? Knockout, maybe? He did nothing. I'm attacking. I need to attack too. There he goes. Uh, now, Alisa, what the heck are you doing with like six thousand of HP left? You have your... Your hyper next, but you won't survive this. Anyway, that was my last attempt for the day. Dude, this boss though... Uh, is it worth shield breaking before attacking? It is! Uh, because it's going to double the damage of that attack. No, I can put people that are stronger, for sure. The thing is that tonight I was determined to go with that party because they were the party members that I was like leaving behind. So I felt like, let's give them another chance, right? They are not bad. Uh, they could get close to beat that boss. Uh, the thing is that this boss is too much. Even if I go with like my older party, it can get me into trouble still. The good thing about my older party is that they had auto region, so I could be hitting a little bit every time without doing nothing for the whole fight. Plus, I could be having auto damage as well, uh, because there were attacks that they would be damaging the, the enemy many times. Not to mention that I don't know if poisoning could work in here. I have a party member that can poison the, the boss, I hope. So if poisoning works, especially in the beginning of the fight, that could help me a little bit as well. But in the end, we all know what was the problem, right? It has four letters. It starts with D. You guys know what was the problem. I actually felt it could have been Fan. It's never Fan, it's always Dave! <laughs> I seriously can't with Dave. I wonder if there will be some crazy plot twist, like Dave, Dave survives, 
You imagine that. The day that we are like beating the super boss of this game, Cthulhu. And then we win thanks to Dave. Like, Dave is the only one that could survive in a boss. I mean, that ne that's never happening. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about this, I will never pick Dave for fighting Cthulhu. So, Dave, I'm so sorry. It's not really for you. But you know what, guys? I kind of want to still beat this boss of this body. So, maybe next stream I will keep on trying it. But then, after that, I think I will get uh, Clark back and ditch Dave from this body, yeah. Welcome back, Emily. You baked... Okay, let me check your pics before uh, leaving. Did you bake some cookies? Sortaki knows Ruby? Sortaki is saying that he liked the videos that Saburo posted. Wait, are those... Um... How are those? Wait, those are kind of like pastelitos, right, Emily? But you bake them? Instead of frying them? They also remind me of that thing that there is in the US. Um, no, never mind, it's different. No, no, no. This does remind me of pastelitos, but baked instead of fried. Uh, those are the pictures Emily are showing me. Let me close the game now. Then change the camera. And also turn this off. Are they raspberry flavored? I'm not sure. Oh, they were just tiny, uh, little tiny pies. Have a good night, uh, Alan. I will try to make it for Wednesday RCT if it happens. Oh, I, I think it will happen. And tomorrow I will try to save the agents! Yes, tomorrow let's see if I will have energy for the agents, but I will do my best. And then on Wednesday RCT, uh, it's the most certain stream during the weekdays, right? And then I will also see if I can stream Yu-Gi-Oh! or WarioWare. But definitely at least one stream of agents! Because we gotta keep on practicing, or I will like get rusty. And forget about the the buttons or the patterns and then you know not beat that game but stay care to have a good night they were cream oh jam but then what was the jam was it raspberry strawberry maybe the color remind me of a uh, raspberry for some reason what I have been seeing more here in Brazil little by little is a raspberry sauce Yes, I even ate and tried a raspberry sauced burger uh, in one of the parties I went last month. Oh, those were strawberry and blueberry. Oh, there we go. I wish I had... You know what? Maybe I can find that if I really look for it. It's strawberry jam for sure, but then a strawberry blueberry? I have never seen that before, but I would love to try it. But anyway, they looked great. And I gotta go get something for... For me to eat before sleeping too. Emily, I will be here probably on Wednesday, like Ritsuri is saying, uh, regarding RCT. But of course, I will let you know on Discord uh, about that stream too. And probably tomorrow I'll be playing Elite Pit Agents, because I still gotta beat that game. So everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, let me go get some rest. Uh, this weekend was full of things. But I'm happy that I did everything. And I had a lot of fun as well, uh, either by streaming more or by heading to the real life events. And honestly, I'm still like not too tired. Uh, I was imagining I would feel more tired, but I kind of should get some rest. So thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by. Uh, have a great night. Take care. Have also a great week. Maybe I see you tomorrow. So I will also keep you updated on Discord. 
Uh, so have a good night, take care. Emily, enjoy those little pies. And goodbye.